Welcome back, uh, and again, as always, thank you, Cameron, for shooting and editing that introduction. Ooh. Thank you so much. I love it. That was fun. Uh, so, when last we left our players, uh, a lot of things have been happening. Uh, all of you were uh, attending a birthday party on Halloween in downtown Los Angeles. Uh, some weird things happened. You visited a very strange bar that felt a little off. You visited a strange renovated hall that felt a little off. Um, uh, you encountered some weird things, you saw some strange people, uh, some stuff you couldn't quite explain. Uh, you eventually got to the birthday party, that also felt a little weird, and then finally all hell broke loose, the sky exploded, a city appeared in the clouds, and uh, you're all currently sort of on the run from these weird creatures that are now just running around downtown Los Angeles. Um, you encountered, well first, uh, you encountered a very odd lady, who is apparently <laughs> from the 1920s, named Dorothy. Uh, you then encountered via Dorothy, a very strange uh, man who you initially thought was just sort of a very aggressive homeless man uh, named James Kirkpatrick. Two coats. You have named two coats. <laughs> uh, together, uh, this group has sort of sought refuge in an abandoned uh, convenience store. Uh, you met a woman there named um, Abigail Stein, uh, this black-haired woman in a red blazer, uh, who isn't necessarily the friendliest, uh, as you guys sort of reconvened she's in this She's kind of a jerk. Store. Yeah, she's a bit she's of a kind jerk. kind of a jerk. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> um, <laughs> as you guys sort of reconvened to sort of figure out what was going on, uh, we left with Jake sort of looking up in the security mirror of the convenience store, uh, and Mona... V's eyes locking with his in the reflection and glowing red just as the power cut out to the building and that is where we will pick up our story. Jake, we're going to start with you, staring in the mirror, Mona's eyes glowing back at you. She sort of gives you like a half smile, almost like knowingly. Oh, I knew it. <laughs> I'm gonna reach into my pocket. Okay. I'm gonna start lighting. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> that Maltov cocktail okay. I made. Okay. As um, great as the uh, as the descent to madness has gone from zero to sixty, uh, can the three of you please? Are you trying to do this sort of subtly? What are you mm -hmm. trying to do here? <laughs> Very. Well, maybe sweating profusely, <laughs> but trying to. Subtly okay. Well, the three of you please uh, roll your um, your spot hidden. Okay. I use mine. Okay. Your roll, you, those are two percentile dice. You need one that's not a. There you go. So there you go. I got it. I got 25. it. Twenty-five. I'm gonna pick the color that's. Ooh. Right. That's a ninety-eight. Ooh, that's a critical success. I rolled a one, baby. Oh wow. <laughs> wow. That, that's not a thing. <laughs> that's not a thing. Twenty-two. Either. What's your I spot in Ninety-eight. I'm so sad. Do we have any? Yeah, only nice. succeeded. Twenty-two, baby. Yeah. Okay, so we have two successes. <laughs> right side. Uh, we do, I Big fail. think, have a few re-rolls on the board. I think we still have four. Um, okay, so we have failure, yeah. critical success, mm -hmm. success. Uh, so here's how this sort of works. Dorothy, you start to notice first Jake sort of off in this corner. Uh, and out of the corner, uh, you just sort of notice a, a weird bit of movement. You're, um, you're what we would describe as a shifty lady. Sure. Uh, uh, you've grown up yeah. with a sort of less than savory yeah. element. You know sort of the, the sight of someone sort of drawing a weapon. 
uh, without really wanting to be noticed when you mm -hmm. see it. Right. Shifty recognizes Shifty. Exactly. Okay. Uh, Alice, on the other hand, uh, you are able to sort of put all of this together almost immediately. Mm -hmm. It's just the way your brain works. You go from A to B to C very quickly. Uh, he's glaring at something mm -hmm. in the mirror. He's drawing uh, that weird bottle. He had just talked about passing those out and creating grenades. Just looking at the way that he's doing it in the mirror, like not at all actually looking at him. I'm just going to reach out and grab the all of the items of the Molotov cocktail from him, like keeping my gaze in the mirror, just like secret, like side. Okay. Uh, will you uh, roll for me? Uh, let's check against your dexterity. Okay. 23, that is a success. <laughs> Why are you zacking me tonight? I don't okay. know, I don't know. Uh, so, Jake, as you are sort of trying to assemble the stuff very like subtly and kind of shakily in like, your hand, all of a sudden Alice just like, snatches yeah, it's real, it's a real this bottle motion. out of your hand. What are you doing? What are you doing? Saving us. Saving us from what? The monsters. The monsters are outside. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. I don't see any monsters inside. Uh, what's going on? This is Mona. You tell me. Jake says he's trying to save us from the monsters. The monsters. Mm -hmm. Tell me anything about your past. Anything. Anything that doesn't involve soul cycling. What happened in the last, what happened two years ago? In the world. Not about you, in the world. Two, in, in the world? Yes. Why, uh, why are you so demanding? Because I don't think she's real. You don't. We had a bad election. Uh, Anybody I can write about that. I out of my boyfriend's house. You what? Uh, I mean, it was a little cataclysmic to me. It might not be global scale to you. Something's wrong with her. I think something's wrong with you. I don't trust that guy. I don't, I don't, I don't know who you are, 1920s. Okay? Look, if there's anything I know, it's more than any of you, all right? I've been around longer. That doesn't make sense. We've lived past the time that you're coming from. We, more than, we know more than you. Well, I'm here. It's true. Well, that doesn't answer the question about how much you know. It answers part Do of you it. even know what music is relative today? Yeah. Name me the top 10 rappers right now. Charleston. That's not a rapper. That's a dance, first of all. <laughs> They're making this about me. Help me out. You made it about you. You said you know things. It's always about me. No. What? <laughs> she... Listen. Listen. I've got him. I, I don't know if I if trust is the right word, but I, I do believe, I believe her when she says that she came from another time because it makes, it just makes sense. It makes sense with everything that we saw in the warehouse. And I think that maybe if we all just calm down. Abigail kind of clears her throat and is like, I'm glad we're all getting on the same page. Can we put the lighter down, please? I'm keeping this. Put it in my pocket. Is there another way to get out of here? We need to get out of here and go back to the warehouse. I hadn't really... Look, weren't you searching for something? Search the way to the roof. What? Right, a way Search to the roof. Search for way to the roof. Well, let's find a way to the roof then. Uh, I don't know. Help me look. I haven't really looked anywhere. Where's Two Coats? Uh, two Coats is sort of by the door checking... Where the mo everything's gone a little quiet. There's not quite as much banging and clawing against the, the doors the anymore. The generator is still on, so we can still there's still lights we can see. Yeah, there's a couple of like emergency <coughs> lights right, that right. have flickered on. Yeah, it's not like completely okay. pitch dark. I'll walk over to Tuco. Mm -hmm. Tuco, you know a thing or two about a thing or two. What can you tell me about red eyes, red glowing eyes? What does that mean? Red glow, uh, uh, probably not. Good. Where you where are you seeing them? It's on in the mirror, I'm Mona. Mona had red glowing eyes. You still got that gun. It's loaded. They took my shit. Yeah, I'm armed. Yeah, yeah. You don't look so good, man. You're sweating. <laughs> anyway. He made a sound with his mouth. You're sweaty. Yeah? And what are you? A DJ? <laughs> That's not... Listen. Two goats. Hey, what are you guys talking about over here? Your, uh, Are you okay? No. Your friend's uh, a little concerned with. Uh, I apologize. I'm not quite good with everybody's names yet. Your other, your your other friend, the the actor. Her eyes were glowing red in the mirror. My eyes were not doing anything. You don't know what I saw. I know what I saw. You don't know what you saw. Uh, back me up here, Charleston. 
Look, if we burn this place down, we've got nowhere to hide. I'm not looking to burn the place down. I'm looking to burn her down. But if you burn her down, this place might burn down as a consequence just relative to the size of the room yeah. and the Jake size as of the we'll burn potential her. explosion. Jake, we'll burn as you're sort of like wheeling around and arguing with everyone, your uh, eye glances back up to that same security disc and almost as if she had just stepped up directly in front of it. It just most of the security disc is just Mona. <laughs> Just staring right at you. Ah! Ah! Hey, calm, calm down. Don't really calm down. Have you? You know what I'm saying? Hey. Control your friend. It. Who are? There we go. He's okay. not really my friend. We just met. I just gotta get out of here. He's gotta get out of this place. Listen. I gotta get to the roof. I gotta get to the roof. Listen, well, let's what? go. You're, you're tripping. Like, have you, have you ever done like acid, like really bad acid? Yes. I had like a bad acid trip. Yeah. That's what this is. Maybe you're I having have a stress today. meltdown or something. I didn't have acid today. I, I just mean you're having a stress meltdown. It's like a bad acid trip, the way that you're acting. It's fine. It's calm fine. down, man. I'm going to listen to me. Listen to me. I Alice, look. Dorothy, roll your spot hidden. Okay. I'm telling you I don't trust her. I'm telling you to watch her. She's just standing uh, there. 54. My spot hidden is 60, so I succeed. Okay. Ooh, that's a four. Four. Wow. Also wow. success. Okay. <laughs> great, great, great. Okay, so as you guys are sort of, uh, you're going back and forth, uh, Alice, you're sort of near them, mm -hmm. uh, kind of watching, just directly in uh, in front of you across one of the shelves. There's, uh, it's it's like the sundry shelf, toilet paper, mm -hmm. paper towels. You know those single roll of paper towels that are like five dollars. Yes. You know those. It's just sort of lined with those, and um, just, you catch it as it's going by your vision. There's just a single centipede crawling across the top of that shelf. Um, as these two are continuing to argue. Uh, two coats is getting into it a little more. He's starting. He's not like pointing the gun at you, but he is sort of like, sort of shoving it against you a little bit, like the back of it, just to like calm you down and sort of get you to back down a little bit. Oh, don't you poke me, two coats? You need to calm down. We need to. We need to keep our you're heads telling, together. You need to. You, you need you to settle this? the hell you're down. You're saying this? Yeah, I'm Un saying that. Unbelievable, two coats. Yeah, I'm saying that. You need. <laughs> We don't have a whole lot of a chance here, and as sort of this is sort of starting to escalate, um, Dorothy, you also notice, uh, you kind of glance down at the floor, and you also sort of start to notice that there's a, a number of insects sort of starting to crawl uh, on the floor. Uh, cockroaches, uh, centipedes, excuse me, not all insects, uh, bugs, cockroaches, centipedes, um, uh, beetles, just a number, uh, just sort of, it's sort of, and because you had such a good role, you also sort of notice they're all sort of moving towards the front of the store, towards the counter. Looks like we got some creepy crawlies dead ahead. What? So ah! <coughs> that's not your usual run-of-the-mill bug storm. That's, no. that's well, what is? Tell that's me what is. Yeah. <laughs> Mona that's speaks up too. What, what would be a run-of-the-mill bug storm? This is a grade A bug tornado. <laughs> is... <laughs> This something y you've seen happen before? They're outnumbering us. The bugs? Yes. That's, Have that's, yeah, they would. Haven't bugs always outnumbered <laughs> us? Not where I'm from. <laughs> the 20s? Exactly. <laughs> There's a ton of bugs. Plus bugs. That's this nice. is a dead giveaway. <laughs> a, a dead giveaway for this bugs are meant to be. Why are the, are the bugs on? coming inside? Bugs are meant to be outside. I'm just gonna They're outside creatures. Grab <laughs> like a travel size hairspray from the like sundries. It's probably just a bad <laughs> little insulator. There's like a crack in the wall. Okay. I'm okay. Gonna, I want and I'm gonna spray the one that I see on the, the shelf. The centipede? Yeah, okay. the centipede on the shelf. Uh, so as that's happening, uh, <laughs> Mona is starting to raise her voice, getting just very frustrated about the fact that no one seems to be taking Jake, wanting to blow her up seriously. Um, she's just very frustrated, very annoyed, and as uh, uh, Alice uh, starts to spray, um, roll your psychology. Psychology? Okay. Interesting. Why would you calm down there, Be <laughs> Beelzebub? Uh, uh, do we have any rerolls? We have several. Great, because I rolled 100. <laughs> just <laughs> all zeros. Oh, wow. Yeah, that's crit miss. Yeah, that's, yeah, that's, that's a big a miss. Yeah, we have 10 rerolls. Great. Nice. Um, I would like to use one more because my psychology is actually pretty good. Dang, I'm going to use another one. I, s I know I can succeed at this. Yes, 24. That's it. Okay. Uh, 
As you uh, start to spray uh, the centipede, it sort of like falls to the ground. Uh, and it's a pretty fat little son of a bitch, and it just sort of falls over on the other side. You actually hear this like audible thud uh, on the Christ. other side. Oh. That doesn't seem right. Of the aisle. And you notice as it thuds, you notice Mona wince. And just her head just sort of like snaps towards you. Don't do that. Why? You have a thing for bugs? No, I just, there's no need. Things are trying to, why, why are we just murdering things inside? Because there's, there's no they're need disgusting. To do that. I don't like bugs. Is that scented? Why do I? Is it unscented? What kind of bug spray? It's just hairspray. Oh, it's just hairspray? Yeah, it's just like cheap Aquanet travel hairspray, the small size. Kill, kill another one in a different way. Dorothy sort of continuing off of that really good spot hidden roll. You're now starting to notice that uh, Mona, who is standing behind the counter, uh, it seems like these bugs are starting to pull around her oh feet. Oh, my God. Looks like they found a leader. Never doubt me, 1920s. Never doubt me. Look, I'm not Never saying nothing me. yet. I'm not saying nothing yet. All I'm saying is maybe she's not who we thought she was. It could just be a coincidence, but also... It might not be. <laughs> what happens if we spray her she's with the hairspray? She's a bug leader. Like, um, they're all crawling around her. It's obvious that she's just, she's. I she's walk right up to her and I say, this, dis- this is disgusting. Now, as, you, yeah, as you're sort of doing that, uh, you're walking up to just I'm going like, to be like to her. Yeah, I'm just going to walk okay, very calmly Alice right is, up to her and spray her. <laughs> this is, someone is threatening to set me on fire and all of you are just talking about as like you sort of, mm-hmm. um, her hand just suddenly like, snatches up and grabs your wrist and she just sort of turns and looks directly at you and just starts to pull your wrist sort of up against the way it's supposed to bend. And a voice that is very much not Mona just sort of uh, very calmly and firmly as it starts to squeeze your arm says, let's not do that now. Is she still spraying the bottle? I can't. I'm trying to spray it, but my my wrist is you can't? like, yeah. Uh, Push down no, on her no. finger. What's ever- <laughs> okay. <laughs> what is everyone's dexterity? Not a dexterity. check. Just what is your straight up? 70. 45. 45. 85. 45. That's 45? 60, 65, yeah. 45. Got it. Okay. As she is trying to spray and as you are egging her on, um, Mona's head just sort of snaps back in your direction, Jake. And she just says, shut up. And... She points at you, uh, and that is when just this third, almost like appendage-like spray pulls out of her collarbone and just snaps and beelines towards you. Uh, And I'm going to ask you to roll your dodge, sir. Ooh, it's at the bottom of your sheet. Ooh, it's real bad. What what is it? 22. Oh! Oh! (laughs) Two! Wow. Super success! Wow. (laughs) I'll try to... Heck yeah! (laughs) Let me try to beat that real quick. Nope. Okay. Um, Just this... Maybe it's because she... Maybe it's... Well, it's probably because you've been staring at her because you suspected her this whole time, or maybe it's the point or whatever, but you're just very able... You're barely able to sort of, like, sidestep as just this limb, this crawling limb just smashes out uh, next to you and puts a hole in the uh, the aisle uh, to your right, just scattering like ramen and hot sauce and sort of ready-made noodles all everywhere behind you. Um, and instead of pulling back, it just uh, almost like they've just all agreed at once to sort of stop holding together. Just this mass of bugs just hits the ground and starts to scatter <laughs> everywhere. Oh, God. Dorothy, what do you want to do? I want to see if I can talk to one of the bugs. <laughs> Fair enough. I mean, they're demons. Only bugs, so. one <laughs> of many. One specific. One of the ones who looks like he knows what he's doing. <laughs> or- I guess that would just be Mona? Mm. Queen, queen bug? Yeah. Hey, Mona. And uh, she's sort of like looking down in her head. Um, 
sort of moves very unnaturally as if now she's no longer obeying sort of like what a skeletal system or what muscles would normally do. The bugs have just sort of decided to move this head towards you and it just sort of looks at you and she's very sweetly and politely just says, yes. What do you want? <laughs> I'm going to kill you. I want to fight her. <laughs> okay. Yeah, I mean, someone's gonna, gonna kill you. We're gonna use them. that. Where you're gonna use that? Uh, that question as as your turn, Alice. Mm -hmm. But we'll come back around. Okay. Mona, you're not her, are you? She just sort of like, just cocks ever so slightly towards you, and the eyes almost move first, and then like the head catches up. Okay. I want to, so she, is she still gripping my wrist? Yes. Okay. So what I want to do is I want to like try and push my hand forward and like with the way that she's like grabbing it, basically like force her to essentially spray herself with the hairspray. Okay. Interesting. Uh, <laughs> let's roll against your strength. Great. My strength is bad. It's real bad. All right. Uh, that is not a success. Do we have rerolls? We do. We have uh, eight. Eight. Use it. Use it. I'm going to use it. Use it. Okay. Uh, darn it. Use another one. Use, use another, another one. one. Keep another going. One. That was almost a zero. Nope. I've been using another one. I'm just matting it up. <laughs> Matt it up. <laughs> uh, damn. That's a 33. Mine strikes a 30. How many rerolls do we have left? Uh, six. Six. I'm going to keep going. Okay. Do it. <laughs> Okay, I'm using another one. Come on. Okay, five. Okay, I'm using <laughs> another one. There we go, 12. <laughs> okay. Uh, if job. at first you don't succeed, reroll eight more trying. times. <laughs> skill. <laughs> this is not a good skill for me, so. Yikes. Okay. Um, mm -hmm. ooh, yeesh. Yeesh. Ooh. So you sort of start to. Uh, you sort of start to push and you sort of find this little bit of leverage, maybe sort of realizing that whatever it is is not necessarily playing by mm -hmm. like how a human right. would play sort of gives you a bit of an angle or whatever. Mm -hmm. And you, you start to like twist uh, her wrist mm -hmm. so that uh, this can is, is, is facing her face uh, and you get that first uh, burst of spray off and her eyes just close and she, you hear this like really just obnoxious shrieking sound as uh, Mona's head just completely retreats into her body and starts to, uh, you just hear this like scream as this bulge starts to pop up like between uh, her shoulder blades. But uh, in that instance of like that, that hairspray that uh, she actually won the strength check, uh, that hand just immediately like pushes your hand back and actually brings you down to your knees as like your arm twists Ugh. over your head. Hey, Keaton. Uh, Mona, stop! <laughs> Mona! <laughs> you need to break her arm! <laughs> it's not her. Or if it is, maybe Jake was right. It looks like her. <laughs> not anymore. Okay. Uh, I go and I try to rip her, her hands off of Alice because I'm afraid she's going to break her wrist. <laughs> okay, cool. So uh, you, okay, let's roll for it. Roll your, uh, roll your strength for me, please. Strength. How strong is Keaton? Let's see. Mm. She has okay, moral 55, strength. Okay, 55, 55. Yeah. Does she? <laughs> Does she? <laughs> uh, that's a 21. Heck yeah. yeah. Oh, wow. Okay. Uh. Get off okay. her. Uh, so you, ba Keaton, uh, <laughs> Keaton takes this, like, running start at this thing, and you just really not really knowing what else to do, just start waving and, like, flailing your arms. Yeah, I try to jump on, on um, Alice to sort of use her weight to pry her, her, her hand off. Of her okay. Off uh, her. So as you sort of, like, jump in and sort of awesome. use Alice to, like, help pry off, you're actually successful that both of you sort of pull free from this thing. And, again, that, ah! arm, that arm does the same as the first one shot towards Cameron. Just this uh. limb drops to the ground and just scatters <laughs> in just hundreds of different directions. Philippines! <laughs> Jake, where's the Aquanet? Where's uh, the hairspray? Did drop still it. Have I it? dropped it. You dropped it? Yeah. <laughs> I still it have the lighter. It should be down by my feet. I want a one move. <laughs> 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 I 
<laughs> oh shit. <laughs> this guy. I want to play okay, so you're that sort of, shit. Okay, so you're sort of diving for this. Uh, oh yeah, for this thing on the ground. Okay, roll. Uh, roll against your dexterity for me. Oh boy. Oh boy. What, what is it? Oh boy. Mm. Forty-five. Okay. It's not too bad. It's not too bad. We got a couple re-rolls. We have five. Oh, spice. Ooh, that that that's painful. That's uh, I'm re-rolling that for sure. Because <laughs> that was a hundred. <laughs> <laughs> that's a. Uh, that was all zeros. Yeah. yeah oh, no, it was one zero. Jake just falls on the ground. So and is that ten? Shits his pants. That's ten. The one and zero is. Yeah, it's ten. Because that the the ten is the tenth place. You can only get ninety nine, right? You can't get hundred. Yeah. Yeah. Well, oh. zero, 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 zero is 100. Oh, then yeah, I got 10. Okay, yeah, oh, 10. So you very much succeeded. Okay, so uh, nice. Jake in your... <laughs> but clarified. In, in your... Uh, maybe the uh. maybe the craze has uh, sort of focused focused you a little bit. Uh, Jake sort of dives forward uh, as Keaton pulls Alice free uh, and this can is rolling across the ground. Uh, Jake dives and like grabs this Aquanet and in sort of one fell move rolls up and just... Opens fire on on this thing, basically, nice. and you just hear this. Um, you lost the part. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you just hear like hundreds and thousands. It just seems like just of these high pitched shrieks and screams, uh, and you just, as centipedes and cooked stag beetles and roaches sort of start to drop off of this thing until suddenly, um, all at once. Mona just drops to the ground, and all of these insects just start scattering uh, across the floor, literally l- like she got um, depossessed. Yeah, just depossessed. Uh, Her clothes drop to the ground, okay. and just the just creatures start scattering everywhere. But she's not there. It's no. just bugs. Yeah. Okay. It just bugs. It's just lots bugs. of bugs. It uh, uh, running, running to crevices, running to. Uh, shadows and corners and just kind of wherever they can get. Like, there's a lot of them. Just sort of running over everybody's feet, uh, running up your legs, just kind of get around, you know, not trying to envelop or anything, especially you two are on the ground get good and bugged. We need to get to the roof. To the roof. That's what Jake was trying to do. We need to find a way to get out of here. We need to just any any way to get out of this room. That was what Jake was trying to do. I'm looking around for a, a door that doesn't go to the outside, but that goes to like a deeper part of this building that goes upstairs to a fire escape, anything. So the Mona clothes are still there. Yes. How do we know where the, the, s- the spirit that was in her went? What if it went in one of us? Well, I hope not. Two I coats. Like, I'm going to go over and grab that mo- the Catwoman outfit and just put the mask on. <laughs> <laughs> what the? It's a little late for a Halloween costume, don't you think? No, wait, what'd you, what'd you just say? Don't touch I me. I said, the spirit needs somewhere to go that was in her that clearly wasn't her. What if it needs one of us as a host? How why, do we know? Why do you have to say such unsettling shit? Out, Jesus Christ. out. We need to get out of here. It's mm. got to have somewhere to go. Mm-hmm. You saw it last time. I don't, is anybody's eyes glowing? I look up at the mirror <laughs> with this Catwoman mask on. <laughs> and in my mind, the mask connects to the outfit, so it's kind of like hanging a like a cape. <laughs> no. Well, okay. should I roll a spot and see if I do see any eyes glowing? No. No? Um, no. Uh, you don't for now. Um, I don't. You know that that's the Catwoman mask, right? Not Batman. You don't need to do like the Batman voice. Don't ruin this. Um, and then I remember that I'm still afraid of bats a little bit, so I'm just like... <laughs> the Batman, the Batman voice, just like. Ugh. I'll protect you. Stop! And, uh, it's just to just to make a note of it, Jake, because right now you're not really feeling anything properly. But uh, for the future, uh, doing what you did with that Aquanet would really freak you out because of your new phobia of fire. Um, I think I killed someone with fire. I feel it in my bones. Okay, I I really think that he's possessed. It has to be him. The demon had to have been, Would he tell you if he was possessed? No. No. You're crazy. Okay, we need to go. Abigail just sort of pops her head back up because she has definitely been hiding this entire time. We need to get out. S- we yeah. can't go out the front door. There's monsters outside. The longer we stay here, we're just sitting ducks. The store, we storage. We need storage. to go somewhere. Where, where they put all the, the extra stuff. There's got to be stairs there. That's probably where the... Where the I start looking around for like the storage closet to see if there's like or okay. storage room. Go and roll your uh, spot hidden. Okay. Uh, and mm-hmm. as you're doing that, Abigail's just like, before you got here, when I was still with people, I wanted to go to Union Station. 
Why did you want to go to Union Station? Because it's in walking distance. There might still be emergency services there. There's all sorts of vehicles at the very least that we could maybe get the hell out. It's just, it, it's what made sense we to me. We can't go to Union Station. We have to go back to the warehouse. What warehouse? The warehouse that we came from. I like both these plans. You should go to Union Station, though, in case we can't fix this in case we can't undo this time you should go back there and you too coats you should come with us because then maybe we could get you back to your own time hi i'm sorry lady from the 1920s is it it's dorothy wilson hi dorothy wilson what does do she know? make sense splitting up no no just anything warehouses and fixing and timelines she doesn't believe me about time travel look all i know is one one warehouse, and all I know and all I can trust right now is two coats. It seems like we're in the same situation, all right? He's from the future, I'm from the past. And we already went into different times inside of that warehouse, so we have to go back there. Well, does that mean that we can get back to our own time? I think so. All I remember is light. I we both saw a bright light when we came here. I remember it too. And you guys... <sighs> Sure what did you see at this warehouse? We went in, there were five of us, and we went, and it was a hallway, and there were three doors, and we went in the door on the left, and we went to a, a, a time. It was, it was way long before this time. We ordered really normal drinks, and they got them all wrong. And then when we went back... Okay, short, long story words. short, different time. Got yes. it. Yes, and uh, then we went was back... Two redheads. They wanted to sleep with me. We, we went, now I know he's crazy, because that was not true at all. You weren't there. And when we went in the middle door, that's how we ended up here. I mean, a lot of stuff happened in between then, but... Ab he just sort of, like, glances at Abigail, who's just like, fine, fine, we go back We go back to a warehouse. That's fine. Uh, where did you roll? 67, but I would like to re-roll that. Okay. That's a 42. I'm going to re-roll that, <laughs> baby. Okay. Different we have five more. <laughs> <laughs> Hedida <laughs> and the year I was born. We're re rolling that one. <laughs> it's the last one I'll use. 61. Nope, it's not happening for me. Okay. Uh, Keaton is sort of like bumping along uh, uh, around the store, uh, uh, not really finding anything. Uh, I found some, some booze, though. I found a. Uh, you found did. You found the wine found section. The you found yeah. the Boone's Farm. Well, I sure. gave everyone Jack Daniels earlier. <laughs> I'm, I'm keeping the party going, man. <laughs> Okay, fine. We go. We go to a warehouse. Okay, uh, Abigail, uh, just sort of frustrated, takes her her red blazer back off, uh, and she's also actually. Let me actually roll for her. Are you also made of bugs? We have to get out. No, of I'm not made of bugs. You do know uh, she's she is tatted the fuck up though, like full sleeves, her back. Uh, she's wearing like a black tank top under the red blazer. Are you in the yakuza or the Russian mob? This is the worst group of people I could have possibly <laughs> been abandoned with in a convenience store. She can't answer the question. I think Why is the girl that Yakuza. thinks she's from the past the most normal person here? I am from the past. But she didn't exactly. claim to be normal. <laughs> okay, uh, Abigail, as, uh, as she's saying this, Abigail uh, uh, finds uh, a door. It's sort of behind a bunch of empty crates and she sort of pulls, it, pulls that stuff aside, pulls open a door and uh, sort of tucks her head back and is and it's just like, okay, there's a hall back here. This is where they stock the milk. Probably smells terrible. It's fresh milk. Why would it smell terrible? Can we like just go? Can we just go? Smell milk all the time. I just walk <laughs> into the door that she finds. Okay, great. You sort of walk through and she just sort of glares at the two of you and it's just like, everyone in the city is an improv student and it kills me. Um, <laughs> So, uh, okay, you sort of follow her through. Mm. Uh, at the end of this little hallway, there is there is like a small set of stairs uh, leading up. I'm gonna go up the stairs. Okay. Is it dark in the hallway? Uh, I, I mean, you can still see it a little like bit from the, yeah, from the emergency lights, too. lights okay, and cool. stuff like that. Great. What's it smell like in there, in that hallway? I mean, you know that weird uh, refrigeration smell that 7-Elevens have? Oh yeah. That one. That's how you know the refrigerators are working. Do you mm -hmm. smell that? That's fridge. That is a bridge. Oh, <laughs> you <right>. air freshener. <laughs> okay. Uh, so, uh, Alice, as you sort of uh, walk up, you're sort of using the door. What are you doing? Uh, I'm 
Yeah, so the, does this, do the staircase end with, like, a door at the end of it? Or? Yeah, it's, like, three steps up and then just, like, a, okay, I'll a open the door. door to the exit. Okay, mm -hmm. you open the door. Uh, it's fine. Uh, it, it actually leads to the outdoor uh, back of the building, and there are, uh, like, fire escape stairs that go up and down. Uh, well, Jake said that he wanted to go to the roof, so we're going to go to the roof. I'm going to just go up. Oh, Jake, the one with the Catwoman mask on? That's talking like Batman. But that's he was right about Mona not being not being what we thought she was. I'm Somebody gonna, being right fine. once doesn't the make them right all the time, Alice. I'm gonna God, run, you're so naive. I'm going to run and jump and grab on the ladder and try and look cool, but not look cool at all doing it. Oh, God. He's Wait, okay. So <laughs> what? <laughs> I'm going to run past everyone, try and jump to the fire escape ladder. <laughs> He's okay. Me. And not really so get like good as everyone air is sort of it. as everyone is sort of like shuffling back into this weird hallway. Jake just like starts elbowing past everyone. <laughs> the uh, fuck! Move! Ah. Move! Roll your dexterity. All righty. Where's the dice? <laughs> <laughs> oh wait. I just held them. Thank you. Sixty-one. That's a fail, and I'm not going to reroll. <laughs> uh, oh. Okay. Uh, You're okay with him failing. <laughs> what, uh, what was the actual roll? Uh, Sixty-one, and my dex is forty-five. Okay. Uh, so Jake just takes this like running charge up these stairs and just leaps and completely uh, overshoots whatever it was that he was <laughs> trying to jump for, and. Okay. Uh, Alice, as you are starting to walk yeah. up, uh, Jake leaps behind you over the top of the railing and just smacks um, into the sidewalk below. <laughs> <laughs> Is this a modern thing? Well, I don't know what the point of that was. I think he's just Parkour, mad. maybe. My ribs! Alfred! And two coats kind of looks at water, you and is just Jesus. like, I don't, I don't get it. I don't know. I don't know. Look, maybe um, you're right about him being crazy, but also if we go up to the roof, we might be able to get a vantage point where we can see if there are any monsters around here so we can try to plot a course to get back to the warehouse where we don't run into them. Okay, who's going where? Up. I'm going, I'm just going to keep going up the fire escape. Okay, Dorothy, you <laughs> don't care about I'm what happens up. to Jake. <laughs> okay. Seems like I'm everything has been low to the ground. <laughs> Keaton? Come on, dumbass! And I pit, I like try to get Jake up. But <laughs> okay, like, so you're walking down. Like, yeah, to try to get him up. Because okay. I'm like, I'm not gonna leave him behind. There's monsters out there. You know? uh, Keaton, as you are, uh, oh as you are walking down the stairs, um, you hear uh, you hear a voice. You can't quite make out what it's saying. You can't quite make out who it is. Uh, but you hear someone talking, almost as if they're in a very hushed whisper, almost as if they don't necessarily want you to hear them. Please don't let that be the bug demon taking me, please. <laughs> <laughs> Jack! Uh, roll your listen for me. Listen! <clears throat> Okay, that's 20, it's 65. That's oh, pretty good listening. Hey, yes. I'm a DJ, y'all. Yeah. I got a good ear. <laughs> <laughs> okay, that is a 60, 69, or, yeah, 60, 69. Uh, I'm going to take uh, another one, another crack at this one. Yeah. Okay. Why not? 69. <laughs> All right. Nailed it. Uh, 69 again. <laughs> <laughs> what? <Seriously? laughs> I'm going again. <laughs> what? <laughs> <laughs> we just got 10 more people watching. <laughs> 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 only 10. Right. That's still good. 35. <laughs> Double 69, only <laughs> live on Twitch. <laughs> oh, yeah. 69. <laughs> <laughs> the new title of the episode. <laughs> episode 3. <laughs> Double, Double 69. 69. <laughs> oh, the title of this episode, by the way, is Lady in Red. Oh, oh great song. <laughs> great, great song. Okay, so you sort of, uh, as you're sort of kneeling, you're starting to make your way towards Jake and sort of this the sound catches you off guard. You actually, you freeze and you take a moment uh, to listen and you, at first the voice is just really familiar and you can't quite figure out. It's someone you've met before. It's someone you've spoken to before and you can't quite place it. Um, and you start to catch weird little keywords. They want to study music. They love what you do. Um, they know it's going to be hard, but they want to 
put their all into it. And as you're sort of like listening, uh, you hear a second uh, familiar voice who just says, welcome to the business. And you start to realize, you hear that sentence and that starts to flood back and you realize you were listening to you talking to your dad. You can hear those voices sort of swirling around. Dad? No (laughs) response. You sort of just continue to hear this conversation play out exactly as you remember it. Pop? And Jake, you sort of see Keaton now just sort of talking to herself, calling for her dad next to you. What a crazy weirdo. Hey! Shut the fuck up, okay? I can oh, hear you. you. I heard you. I was speaking to myself. <laughs> hey, are you okay? No, I'm not. I'm <sighs> you can still hear the conversation. Your, your, your father's uh, laughing with you, joking with you, sort of suggesting schools, uh, throwing really, you know, just sort of absurd college advice your way, blah, blah, blah. Just stop, ta- stop talking. Shh. Dad, are you here? Pop? Do you, are you hearing that? You're not hearing this? And no. sort of going off of that success of your role as you kind of continue to listen, you, as weird as it sounds, you start to realize that the source of the voices is coming from your purse. What is it? Uh, is there a recording or something? And I, I em- empty out my whole purse, like, hastily. Okay, uh, <laughs> tons of stuff sort of starts to fall out of your purse. Uh, uh, a little baggie of cocaine, a little baggie of mushrooms, uh, <laughs> uh, just a bag of miscellaneous pills, uh, your dead phone, uh, and your uh, holistic meditation Crystal. Uh, new agey crystals. I grab um, the no phone gum. and I check if it's coming from here. Nothing. You can still hear the voices, though, now coming from the ground of, from your abs- assorted c- things. I can hear my parents. My parents. My dads are talking to me or something or it's not to me something they said before where i don't know and i, I put all the drugs back into my purse because i'm like okay something they said at a different time as you are um sort of stuffing everything back in your in your purse uh you sort of start as you sort of get down uh you can now sort of own in and you're you're actually just hearing those voices from those little crystals that you carry with you in your purse Dar- darla was right Who? Uh, uh, our spiritual advisor, Mona's in, in mind, our spiritual advisor. Oh, you gotta tell She's her about it. Mona was a bug lady. Hello, <laughs> 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 her world. Uh. Um, and as strange as this feels, and as strange as it seems to be hearing their voices A now and B from these sort of crystals from a junk New Age store, uh, it does sort of spark uh, a more comforting memory uh, from your past that restores a little bit of sanity. And that would be? Um, as I put the crystal to my ear, I, uh, and as I'm thinking about my dad's, I'm thinking about how uh, my uh, father, who um, isn't as successful as the jingle writer, um, brought home one day uh, an old arcade um, thingamajigger. Uh, and how he was really excited and, and he fixed it up himself in his spare time and, and it was sort of a bonding thing because I would go in there and, and listen to him you know, um, tinker around with it and mm-hmm. how he got it working and uh, when we got it working those sounds and those memories that's why I really became more of an arcade type of DJ because that's something that I shared with my dad that I loved Roll 1d4 <laughs> and add 1 D4 1 Okay. So add, so add two, two. Yeah, add two points back right. to your sanity. Ninety-one. Okay. Uh, <coughs> we're gonna sort of cut back to a, a couple feet above and over uh, on the roof. Alice, Dorothy, Two Coats, and Abigail are standing on the roof. Abigail um, sort of clutches that red blazer to her and gives you a look, and is just like, "Okay." I'm looking for the warehouse and trying to plot like the best way to get back to it. Okay, so uh, it it takes you kind of a moment to get your bearings, uh, but you do sort of are able to map back out, Mm -hmm. you know, the way you came. Uh, It's about three or four sort of city blocks Mm -hmm. up, and then maybe about two over. You do see 
uh, gener generally where that warehouse is. Everything in this sort of section of town is about you know the same height, mm. so there's not any buildings necessarily towering right. uh, over the others. I, I want to look to and see if the monsters that were at the gate outside of the convenience store are still trying to get in. Okay. Um, so as you sort of edge up to the to the building to sort of see what you can see, uh, the first thing you realize is that uh, you don't see um, any of the creatures. Okay. Uh, they're gone. But then to sort of further that, you realize, uh, whereas sort of the, the occasional scream, emergency sirens, explosions had sort of become this background noise, uh, you don't hear anything. Mm. Just complete silence outside. You hear Keaton uh, <coughs> down on the ground below you. But other than, you know, movement from your from your comrades and your peers, uh, you don't hear anything. Dorothy, you start to pick up on that as well, how quiet it is. It seems like maybe it's over. With the calm before the storm. Well, maybe we can use that to our advantage. Do you want to make a run for this warehouse now? Hmm. Yes. Sort of nod emphatically. All right. You in? If you're in two goats. I don't know what else to do, so. Sure. Ma'am? He kind of looks at Abigail, who just sort of sighs and rolls her eyes. Sure. Let's go back mm -hmm. to the warehouse and let's go to the past. Okay. Maybe we can meet <coughs> some dinosaurs or wherever it is she's from. I don't know if it's going to go that far back. That. Again, worst group of people I could possibly. <laughs> let's just but let's me. just you go. You like me? <laughs> Do we make it out yes, to the roof? Yes, you are somewhat normal. Great. Okay, the two of you have sort of uh, uh, made your way up to the roof as this conversation uh, is continuing. Again, it's silent. Uh, it's quiet, <clears throat> and it is so quiet, in fact, that you pick up on the slightest of sounds on the roof. All of you really start to hear it. Uh, maybe one or two of you at first start to hear it at first, just the sound of just soft, sort of skittering movement on the roof. As the four of you notice um, that there's just sort of this dark shadow growing on the roof that's moving slowly towards you. And that's when you realize that it is these bugs sort of returning bugs and again. rallying and sort of starting to try to surround you on the roof. We need to go. We what does to, that mean? We need to go now. That means their leader's here nearby. That means they're looking for another stool to steal. I'm not going to let what comes first? Happen. What comes first? What do you mean what comes first? The bugs came after. The oh, fuck this. And Abigail just like takes <laughs> off back towards the fire escape. Yeah. I'm going to go after her. I'm also trying to get out of here. Okay. Mm -hmm. What are you three doing? Um, because I'm wearing such a sweet outfit, even though my phone gets no reception, I'm going to take a photo of myself with the moon <laughs> behind me. Okay. <laughs> okay, uh, so uh, Jake, as Jake oh, is sort of pausing to take a phone, Jake. yeah, he is, he is very nuts. We this is very different have from time Cameron. for that. What is one of those? Oh, man, we're just going to open your world, girl. So as Alice sort of takes off running, Dorothy maybe sort of starts to stop, uh, but then just completely gets perplexed yeah. by this weird-ass yeah. thing that Jake is holding. <laughs> I want to, like, <laughs> grab Jake, like, under the arm and, like, drag him towards the fire escape. <laughs> okay, uh, are you going along with that, or are you... Okay. My uh, photo Come on, we have to go right allowing now. allowing yourself to be dragged. Uh, two coats kind of, like, takes you sort of by the shoulder, and she says, I'll explain phones and another okay. time another so, time okay. do are we all now on the fire escape side of things yeah heading down yeah Keaton, so I'm assuming you but what i want to well. do as we do that is i want to um uh use the, the molotov cocktail that i still have i want to <laughs> like once we're on the fire escape i want to like light it and throw it up onto the roof where all the bugs are to <laughs> yeah, light yeah, them on yeah, fire yeah, yeah. And potentially create a distraction that'll draw the monsters there and not after us. Okay, so as the group is making their way down, you yeah. sort of get down first and you start trying to build that uh, yeah. that cocktail. Yep. So the first thing I'm going to have you <laughs> roll is um, 
Didn't we make a decision on how to create a Molotov, a Molotov cocktail, cocktail last time? I don't remember. Uh, I don't either. So <laughs> let's no, I think go. I was passing them out, but as far as like <laughs> how to actually how to that, actually build them. Like, yeah. Okay, let's um napkins with alcohol. Let's r let's roll your survival. Yeah. That seems like a Boy Scouty <laughs> thing, you know, Molotov cocktails. I learned that in Weebelos. <laughs> on second thought, Jake, <sighs> you're the one that made this in the first place. How does this work? I've only ever used it in a video game. You light the end of it. I you throw. You light it. Okay. <laughs> it's like, take it. <laughs> I you really got to trust him with that? <laughs> nice. I want to throw it, though. Oh. <laughs> so I light it and hand it back. <laughs> Better hurry before it. it's like a wick. You can see now uh, <laughs> the very distinct form of Mona V sort of like stepping forward to the <coughs> roof, just I'm like scowling down at you guys. I'm going to throw it directly at her. Okay, roll your throw. All right. Uh, do we have any rerolls? We have three. Okay, okay this one has not been very good for me lately, oh, yeah. so I'm gonna re-roll. Gosh darn it! My, it my throw re -roll, is re -roll. good. Re-roll, re-roll, do it again. Ah, there we go, 21. My throw is 60. Okay, uh, so you sort of chuck this thing uh, onto the roof, uh, and you see uh, Mona sort of like stagger uh, backwards as you hear just sort of. A moment of glass breaking upstairs, and just all of a sudden, very quickly, uh, everything gets very hot, very close to you guys. As just the entire roof of this place just engulfs, and you hear those same screams again. Sorry, uh, mom. From the roof, you don't necessarily see it. I guess we're gonna have it. to recast. We're <laughs> <laughs> just making these horrible <laughs> quips about her acting career. Keep, keep. She's not here to defend her. What? <laughs> Throw your spooky diamond. <laughs> I want to throw it. Throw your spooky diamond. We have to no. run throw now. What diamond. was the thing he was using? <laughs> Get the Molotov cocktail. No. <laughs> the flasher. Run. Ooh. I'm running. <laughs> like, I don't, I don't have time to, to explain this shit to you, Can okay? Can we use that? Okay. I throw my phone oh, God. <laughs> at the fire. Okay. Uh, phone <laughs> ends up there as well. <laughs> What? You're gonna regret. Run away. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Alice is now taken off. I'm running away. Okay. Yeah, I'm, I'm with Alice. I'm following her. I'm <laughs> running behind Alice and going. Doo -doo 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 -doo. <laughs> Shut up. Okay, as you sort of, uh, as you guys sort of take off running again, sort of the silent night has the has now been sort of broken up <laughs> by the sound of these roaring flames on the building, and then um, sort of underscored by Jake hauling ass after the group, uh, shouting the Danny Elfman Batman We have to go um, quietly. At the top of his lungs. Can't uh, you hear there's no sound? If you make sound, they'll find us. But right now, the only sound is back at that <laughs> convenience store. So that is going to draw everything there. We know already that they respond to light and sound. So shut up. Okay. To be fair, it's a really good song. And as okay. you guys are sort of uh, running and arguing almost in response to <laughs> da 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 da, uh, <laughs> you hear these just roars uh, sort of behind you and along the sides of you almost just in response. I'm sorry! <laughs> oh, God. He makes one good call and suddenly he thinks he's captain of this ship. <laughs> Where are we in relationship to getting to the warehouse now? Uh, you're a couple. You're a couple blocks off. Okay, I want to continue to try to run <laughs> to <laughs> the warehouse, but I'm also like trying to look out because you said we can hear the things, right? Yes. Um, but I'm like trying to see if they're actually coming after us or if they've gone back towards the flames, as I was hoping they would do. Okay. Um. <laughs> I thought it was a great plan. Okay. <laughs> Go ahead and roll your uh, spot hidden. Okay. And as you okay. are rolling, Dorothy. Um, Success, 33. Again, weird night. You seem to be able to just roll with this stuff pretty well, though. And there's something about um, running your ass off uh, with a group after committing a little bit of arson <laughs> um, that sparks a comforting <laughs> and uh, happy memory that restores a little bit of sanity. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, I feel like a horse, a winning horse. <laughs> that a lot of people bet a lot of money on and make Dorothy and her daddies a lot of money. <laughs> this feels good, this feels like a win. <laughs> what a memory. <laughs> <laughs> Go ahead and roll 1d4 and add one. This guy. <laughs> I mean, that wasn't a roll, that was me dropping it. <laughs> that counts. Oh, that's a four. 
That's a four. Okay, then uh, add one. That's five restored to your sanity. Or if you hit the max, then you just go back to the max. Um, okay, uh, what'd you roll for your spot hidden? 33. My spot hidden is 60. Okay, so as you are running, mm. uh, you're sort of like looking over your shoulder past the group, <laughs> past Jake and the, with this Catwoman mask sort of smashed <laughs> over his, his, <laughs> his head. Uh, and you do start to see... Um, uh, these creatures, these like ghouls sort of starting to gather around the building, sort of crawling up the walls to sort of investigate everything okay. uh, that's happening. Um, but as you are looking <coughs> back, you do see sort of standing in the middle of the road, sort of about three, four blocks behind you guys where you've now left uh, that building, that same creature that had attacked and dragged Dorothy just standing in the middle um, of the road, just staring directly at you guys um, as you're running. We have to keep running. We have to keep going. She's, keep she's the only one who sees it. Sees that thing. Uh, she's the only one that's looking. We're, we're, st oh. we're still being followed. There's one more, but most of them are back at the building. Let's just keep going. I'm ready to keep running. Let's just keep going. Okay. Uh, <laughs> so you guys. I'm gonna take her word for it and run like this. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Wow. <laughs> so Jake is fancy <laughs> running. Okay. So sort of as the group. Um, uh, continues. Uh, the warehouse is now in sight. You see the food truck. Um, but as you guys are sort of what approaching and yelling, uh, Dorothy asks a question, and uh, Alice, who's sort of running alongside her, sees her lips move, sees her point, does not hear her. What? And when you say what out loud, you do not hear uh, yourself say that out loud either. I'm going to, like, clap my hands As to see running? if there's any I, I, I sort of pause because this is weird mm -hmm. and I want to like clap to see if I hear like sound effects or if it's just voices uh, you don't hear anything it's like someone has hit mute uh, and it's the same for all of you it's like someone has hit just mute on the show what's going on and as the, the group sort of like slows down in confusion, uh, you do see ahead of you um, the warehouse, uh, two coats very, you sort of feel an arm grab sort of both of you and uh, two coats is behind you guys and he sort of drags you uh, to the storefront off to the side mm -hmm. of the street. Uh, the two of you see this. You guys are sort of bringing up the rear. Uh, Abigail follows suit, and he just sort of gestures ahead, and you sort of you see more of these ghouls and stuff like that sort of around the warehouse, maybe four or five, just sort of <sighs> roaming and rummaging on the streets. Oh, no. Uh, I'm going to... Uh, as So we're going to... He, like, pulled us to duck and hide, yeah? Mm -hmm. Okay, so I'm going to get out my phone because we don't have any cell reception, yeah. but our phones still like can turn on. Mm -hmm. um, and so I'm gonna type a message on my phone. <laughs> okay. I see that so she pulls pull out her phone and I go. <laughs> 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 uh, and I'm, I'm gonna type uh, to, to uh, our, our friend Two Coats, um, how are we gonna get around them? So as you, uh, so you pull out your phone, Alice, and as you start typing, uh, you start typing the phrase, how are we going to get around them? Mm -hmm. uh, and what you end up typing is, Alice, you're going to die. <gasps> Alice, you're going to die. <laughs> what are you writing? I can't, I can't hear you. Uh, will you please roll against your phobia of your cell phone? <laughs> or roll against your sanity because of your phobia of your phone. I thought it was just my phone being dead. That's what you told me. Yeah, now it's doing weird stuff. All right. Uh, 57, I'm good. Okay. I look um, over. I want to see if I can see what you see. Yeah, does, Ke does it look the same to Keaton? Uh, Keaton, uh, you see that she has just typed, uh, how do we get around them? Oh. So I show it to two coats then. Okay, uh, two coats kind of takes a look at it and kind of nods and um, sort of steps ahead and looks around and he sort of turns around and like holds a hand up to kind of get everyone's attention. I high five it. He just kind of like stares at you like. 
<laughs> and just uh, puts his fingers to his lips and then realizes that that was sort of a weird, futile thing to necessarily do uh, and starts to just hug the corner but turns mm-hmm. left and sort of beckons everyone to follow. I'm going to sneak after him. Okay. <laughs> Dorothy, <laughs> Keaton, sneak. Jake, joining? I'm sneaking. going. Sneaking. Okay. I just follow Alice and I'm sneaking. <laughs> okay. I want to uh, try and grab the phone. You're trying to, oh, you you're trying to grab is. Alice's <laughs> phone? Grab oh, no. <laughs> okay. So obsessed. <laughs> okay, so first I'm... G- Let's go ahead and uh, roll for that first. Dorothy, will you roll uh, against your dexterity, please? Or wait, do you have, hang on, let me, is there a shifty thing? <laughs> sleight of hand. Oh, yeah. Roll your uh, sleight of hand, please. Thank you. <laughs> roll your shifty. <laughs> <laughs> roll your sketch. 91. I'll go, do we have wow. any Wow, <laughs> yeah, we do. Um, I think we have like three. So yeah, we've got Oh yeah, your, her sleight of hand's really good. <laughs> She's thief. That's Thirty. Okay, so uh, this is a pretty easy mark for you. Everyone's completely distracted. She's just holding this phone, sort of like loose, loosely in her hand, and you just very quickly, quickly uh, reach forward, snatch it, sort of palm it uh, to the bottom of your wrist. Where Alice, something snagged your phone. You don't even huh? notice what happened to it. Okay. So I, to me, it's like I forgot I was holding my phone. Like, I, I don't <laughs> notice that she took my phone. Correct. But I notice it's gone. I'm not yes. crazy. Yeah, you had a phone in your hand, and now what? you don't have a phone in your what hand. What happened? Where'd my... Huh? Where? Where? What? Where? I don't know what happened to my phone. Okay. But... I was going to have everyone make a stealth roll, and then Jake started yelling. Um... I'm gonna kill you. <laughs> hey man, chat made me crazy. I gotta, I gotta go with the rolls. Uh, again, this this sort of mute thing is still in effect. Uh, but Keaton, you sort of look up, and Jake is just going like, <laughs> "Oh my god!" I can't hear shit. Can you Which hear anything? Keaton immediately makes you look back to where the ghouls were, mm-hmm. and you see that there are three just now moving very quickly, very <laughs> intently towards the group. Uh, uh. Will you please roll against your sanity, please? Okay. Oh, no, goals! Wait, how, so am I rolling just yeah, the, same, the percentile dice, right? Yep. Okay. Yep. So, okay. Uh, yeah, I'm good because I have 90 right now, and it's 79. Okay. Uh, Not 69, but 79. 79, the hottest of the sex <laughs> Okay, so you maintain your cool, but uh, these things are uh, running at you. It seems like you're the only one that sees them. What do you do? I try to get everybody's attention so they can see. Okay, so you sort of like step out yeah. in front of the group and... <laughs> Yeah. Okay, everyone, uh, so this happens very quickly. You all see Keaton sort of like waving like a crazy person. Uh, looking past her, you see what she's waving about. These things are running at you guys. Okay, is there some, uh, so we're at like a storefront sort of? Yeah, you're basically like across, so you are, remember where the lifts dropped everyone off yeah. for the party? Uh, you're more or less across the street <laughs> now, and then there is uh, the gate that has an entrance that leads to the parking lot, which is where the food truck was. Uh, which is where the front entrance of this warehouse and the doorman were. Right. But we actually came out the back entrance where the fire escape was. Correct. Okay. So right now you are facing the front entrance of the warehouse. We're facing the front entrance. Okay. Or across from it. Right. Yes. Okay. Uh, and then where we are, is there, I, I want to see if there's like a building that we can get in. If there's like a, you know how chain link fences sometimes are come detached at the bottom? Like, a, a, like we could squeeze in kind of thing. Basically like, <laughs> A place to get into that it would be physically difficult for the ghouls to follow us that way. On this side of the street? Yes. Okay. Uh, roll your spot hidden okay. for me. Uh, do we have any rerolls? We have a couple. Okay, because I rolled 85, but my spot hidden is good, so I want to try again. God damn, I'm rolling again. Yoink them. There we go. 27. Nice. That's a success. Okay. Um <laughs> So uh, as you're sort of glancing very quickly, you're having to, you're panicking a little bit. You're mm-hmm. sort of trying to move very quickly. Uh, there are, you see a, on, on this side, there's a couple of uh, doors. Maybe they look like they, they lead to, um, you know, sort of one night uh, 
stay motel kind sure. of places, maybe a couple of just like shitty apartments, maybe a couple of little abandoned storefronts. Okay. Uh, there's no really any, there's not any fencing or security gates. Right. Uh, sort of in front of any of this, like there were in front of the convenience store. Okay. But there, but there is like a door that we could potentially open and go inside. Sure. Yeah. Yeah. Like next uh, store up sort of a couple of feet ahead of you okay, guys. Okay. So since Alice is near me, I'm going to like grab her and drag her that way. Since Dorothy. Sorry. I am Alice. Dorothy is near me. I'm going to drag her that way. <laughs> okay. um, and then, but I, but Keaton's the one that was like trying to get us to pay attention. Mm -hmm. So I, I like make eye contact with her and I'm going to go for the nearest door. Okay. Uh, so uh, Dorothy, you're getting dragged uh, by Alice. Uh, Keaton, Jake. I'm, I'm, she's going for the door. I'm trying to get away from these monsters, so I'm going to follow like through like because I know she's trying to get the hell out of there, too. Okay. Uh, so <laughs> you And I'm going to try to pull this crazy mother effer before he goes and tries to shake one of their hands <laughs> or give How one of them chocolate. How dare that's you? That's kind of what he's probably going to do. <laughs> Batman, um, I'm a hero. <laughs> as I tighten the mask and try to walk towards the creature. Stop! Okay. Like I'm Alice, uh, uh, you, get to, uh, you get to the, uh, <laughs> the first door. <laughs> um, it is... Uh, it's locked. Uh, is there um, uh, what? It it's just sort of a like a green uh, metal door. Oh, okay. So there's it, just it, does, it doesn't have like a glass it. window thing on it no. at all. Okay, I'm just gonna run and try the next one. <laughs> okay. Um, so as you are uh, running ahead, the next series of doors. Sorry, oh, sort of oh rolling and talking. Um, uh, these things are now uh, they're, they're, they're starting to cross the street as the group sort of like tries to move from one door to the next the first one is like uh, impacts the, the building where you guys had just sort of made your left it just because they're not the most coordinated things in the world and all of its speed it sort of like hits uh, the, oh. the wall and um, uh, it starts to sort of like scrabble and like scramble its way uh, towards uh, you guys, okay. as you get to the second set of doors, okay. and buh, 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 buh. Uh, it is also locked. Okay, well, this I now is a, this is like almost like a double door, okay. sort of like pull apart. But I saw situation. it crash into the building. Yeah, you saw it like hit the wall, okay. and now it's like running uh, along towards you guys. It's just maybe 10, 15 feet away. Okay, I want second locked door. I want to run like straight across in the direction of another like. Like big solid structure, like actually trying to get it to follow me in hopes that I can recreate the uh, Toro, it crashing Toro, Toro. into something. Yeah. Oh okay. You know what I mean? Because I saw it crash into the wall, so I I now know that it's not very coordinated. Right. So okay. I want to run like directly at another like wall. Okay, so Alice, mm. uh, so you're like tr like across the street, just across the street. Yeah. Okay, so Alice very suddenly like bolts uh, away from the pack. Uh, the one sort of closest to you guys uh, is still sort of moving towards you. The other two have managed to now like divert towards Alice. Okay. So we have two things happening right now. We have one ghoul that's about eight feet in closing uh, from you guys. Let's deal with that first. Um, I want to see if there's anything off the wall that I can grab. Like, a, like, uh, is there like a an axe? Is there a, a an emergency thing? It's mostly mm. just all just straight up just stone. Mm. stone I'm gonna wall. reach in. I'm gonna reach in the Keaton's purse. I'm gonna pull out her cocaine, open that bitch, and throw it in his face. Uh, no, he's not. <laughs> <laughs> That's very expensive. First of all. <laughs> And okay. nobody puts their fucking hands in my purse. You're going to use mm -hmm. that shit if you're dead by a demon eating your body. <laughs> okay. Uh, both of you roll uh, roll your dexterity. Oh, oh I'm first. A, mm -hmm. first. <laughs> she knows better than to let somebody fucking... Good thing you dropped all that shit in front of me. <laughs> oh, God damn it. Is my dexterity... What is my dex? 65? Okay. That is... 61? Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so that, that's fine. It's, yeah, 61, so my dex is 65. Okay. What's yours? 45. Don't you dare! <laughs> what? What? Did you just get a six? <laughs> <laughs> six? <laughs> six? <laughs> 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 
No! When my dad is <laughs> no, So, Keaton, you see out of the corner of your eyes, like, Jake is just suddenly going. You're like, you see this thing coming for you. You see Jake sort of go for you, and you almost instinctually, like, try to block him from going to your purse. And Jake, as you sort of just throw, you sort of pull whatever you can out of this. Th there's just, like, this bag of pills and this bag of white powder sort of out. And you just fling it um, at this creature as... What are you doing? Stop! It just tackles into you, Jake. Like all the way of this thing just throws you into the ground. Um, uh, will uh. you roll uh, uh, a strength check for me? Son of a bitch. <laughs> um, my strength is 70. I got a 60. That's good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> okay. Um, so this thing just like smacks uh, uh, Jake into uh. the ground. And again, all this for whatever reason you guys don't understand it yet is happening in complete silence. Like there's just no sound as this thing like smacks into you. Uh, its jaws just sort of like opening up like extra just bizarrely wide as this, uh, uh, its eye sockets uh, start to widen although there's no eyes in this thing's just sort of weird bizarre <laughs> skull as it just like high? leans in trying to trying to just like take a bite out of you. At first, um, you were forcing it back and sort of like pushing it back <laughs> by the jaws. Captain America with Thanos. You gave it minimum. coke strength. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> and at first it seemed, uh, it, this is all just happening in a, in a matter of seconds, but then because it rolled a one. Uh, <laughs> oh no. It just breaks past ah! your arms and uh, Keaton, you see this just thing's jaws oh. just sink ah! into ah! Jake's neck. Oh God! Ah! 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 <laughs> uh, with my heel, I'm gonna try to to kick it off of his neck. Okay, what is your dexterity? 65. Okay. 70. Okay, and yours is pretty high. 85. That's right. Okay. So, uh, Dorothy, you see all this happening as well, as well as Alice sort of breaking mm -hmm. off as this other thing's chasing her. What are you doing? Is there a lock that could be pickable with yeah. this door? You want to try? I want to try and pick the lock. Okay. Uh, so go ahead and roll your <laughs> locksmith for me, please. Forty-six, and it's forty-six. Ah, uh, is it full? I yeah, that, that. Oh, okay. That succeeds. That That's, just that succeeds. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. Holy the shit. story of my life just barely <laughs> making it. Um, so you are, are. Are you in front of that first door that she tried, or that second door that she tried? I think she the bolted? first one was like metal, so not really doable. But the second one, I think we were. Okay. okay. Yeah. So this is. It's like this weird double door with uh, that you've never really <laughs> seen anything quite like this Why? before. It's got these like long panes of glass. It's made out of aluminum. But a door is a door and a lock's a lock. Yep. Uh, and you are sort of taking this moment uh, and sort of fiddling with this thing and, and, and messing around with it for a minute. Uh, you hear this click. You actually use the phone that you just pocketed from Alice to sort of wait against this bar between this thing. You're able to get your hand in just enough to sort of yeah. figure out how to get this lock to click and these two doors just sort of like pop open uh, on your side. And as you sort of, I, I assume, I go in. Uh, go in. Uh, that is going to end your turn as you sort of escape safely. Alice, what are you doing? You have a thing mm -hmm. bounding after you on your tail. Yeah, I uh, am. R my my goal is to run directly to the opposite wall. Okay. And I'm going to stand as still as I possibly can okay. until it gets real close, mm -hmm. and then I'm going to jump out of the way. Okay. Uh, roll your dexterity Kay. for me, please. Uh, Sixty-one. That's a success. Okay, so Alice, you pick up speed. You run faster than you have ever tried to run before. You are hauling ass, and you, uh, as right as you're getting to this wall, you sort of like go down to one knee and almost just like slide as you feel the concrete mm -hmm. sort of like just scraping into your leg. Um, as you sort of s take almost this like third base like dive as this thing smacks into the wall behind you, like as you sort of hoped that it would, and it's almost dazed and takes like a step back as, as it's like trying to um, recover its bearings, but you do have this like one moment, this like one opening 
uh, to do with uh, as you will. As we move to Keaton, this thing is now just next to you, just making a meal out of Jake. Oh. Um, yeah, I'm trying to, I don't want to touch it with my hands or my arms. I'm just trying to like kick him off with my heel, trying to use it to like, to get like wedge in between um, his neck and the, the monster's mouth. Okay, roll your fighting brawl for me, please. Okay, fighting brawl, 25, yay. That is no nope. 63. 63. Yeah, I will take re -roll. a reroll. How many rerolls do we have? 68. We have. Sorry, one moment. We have two more rerolls. Yoink! I'm taking. <laughs> 14. 14. There we hey! go. Hey! <laughs> yeah. Check out one more. Get. Yeah. Okay. Son of a bitch. <laughs> I'm so calling you, you son of a bitch. <laughs> you're kicking at this thing. You're kicking at this thing. Um. I'm trying to put like my my heel on the roof of its mouth. Yeah, you sort of have these like party girl sort of like spiked heels on, um, and as you're uh, kicking at this thing, sort of just trying to get its jaw um, off, you are actually just they almost like this thing is sort of not held together by much. Its jaw is actually like starting to like dislocate <laughs> off of Jake's like flesh. Is just red is pulling around him uh, to the point where it just like looks up and snarls like a. a like a dog you're pulling away from its bowl almost, but its jaw is almost like a little like off and loose and hanging and it snarls at you and tenses and you can tell it's about to leap towards you. Jake, as you lose five hit points, um, oh, yikes. this thing is on you just searing pain. I don't know if you're even feeling it or not right now with the state that you're in. I'll leave that up to you. Uh, what are you trying to do? So what? So it let go of me at the moment? Yeah, you have sort of this moment. It's, I mean, it is still on you. Its full weight is still on you. It's not a light creature uh, necessarily, but it is, uh, it's not currently, like, shooing your uh, throat out. I still have my lighter on me. I'm going to try and grab my lighter and just light it underneath its, like, little, little throat. <laughs> okay, so you've got that. <laughs> okay. Um... So you've got sort of this little Zippo, and uh, with you sort of feel yourself fading a little bit, uh, sort of almost like blacking out, you're sort of starting to see spots, but you remember that you have this uh, lighter that you uh, sort of like hold up and so your hand is shaking almost, but you are able to like light the Zippo under this thing's jaw. Uh, and as it's sort of starting to go for Keaton, all of a sudden it has this sort of burn uh, uh, that almost distracts it back, and it's almost just <coughs> getting confused now, and it just sort of, like, snarls again, and... Uh, attempts to smash this, like, clawed hand into your face to just get you to stop, but maybe just because there's just too much going on, it just smashes into the concrete um, next to you. Fuck you, dickhead. <laughs> Abigail is through the door. <laughs> after you. Okay. Uh, she sees you open this door. She sees you go in, and she just, like, hightails it after you. Um, Alice, mm. um, what are you trying to do now that so sort of now this thing is stunned? So now that the thing is stunned, I want to – have I seen that Alice got the door open? Yes. Door? Okay. Sorry. I, I don't know why I keep doing that. I need to just take a moment. Make a roll sanity. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Dorothy has gotten the door open. Uh, so I'm going to run. So I want to run after her. What I would also like to do, if I can do it in the same turn, is take um, the liquor. Because I had my Molotov cocktail, and I also took all the components of his except for the lighter. Okay. So what so, are you trying to do? So I want to throw the liquor bottle like to hit the thing that is fighting with him in like in the general area of it so it'll smash on the ground so there will be a flammable liquid for them okay you know what i mean yeah so as you start to run i'm going mm -hmm. to have you roll against i'm going to check your throw okay uh, but i'm going to have you roll with a disadvantage since you're sort of trying to do like a run and toss okay here that's a 94 so i don't even need to roll again do we have any re-rolls we have two okay i will use one 40, so that would succeed. Yeah. Oh, God. Oh, God. God damn it, 83. I'm doing it one more time. Okay. Oh. This is our and last we're done. This is our last reroll. Okay. God 
damn it, 95. Dang. Okay, so Ugh. as you sort of take off running, uh, you uh, you fling this bottle. Um, it misses the creature. It comes, sort of whizzes <laughs> by Keaton uh, really quick and just sort of breaks apart uh, against the uh, the brick building okay. uh, behind you guys. As you are running, mm -hmm. uh, the ghoul behind you is sort of starting to get its bearings back and is just starting to just make this, like, leaping pounce after you. And you can almost mm -hmm. feel the breath, like, uh, of this creature as its, like, jaws are closing in on your skull and then suddenly <laughs> just... <laughs> as it like hits back and just almost slingshots away from the impact of Two Coats Rifle, who is sort of <sighs> taking control of the situation and has uh, taken aim at that one and fired. Uh, ba -ba 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 -ba. That brings us back to Dorothy, who is now, uh, you've walked into uh, what looks like a, like a small lobby, mm. almost of like a, you know, the furniture's weird and, and looks different and things are made out of different materials, but like, you know, a motel, hotel lobby, when you when you see one, there's a, like a, a small check-in desk. There's uh, some really like, kind of just like shitty ratty couches sort of uh, in this little lobby area and stairs leading up. Uh, doesn't look like there's anyone here, uh, but Abigail is sort of runs in behind you and is sort of like looking around frantically. What would you like to do? Uh, you said there's stairs? Yes, leading up. I want to head towards the stairs. Okay, so you're going to sort of just truck up yeah. the stairs? Okay, uh, so you do so. Uh, Abigail follows you up, and you sort of uh, find yourself in this uh, hallway. The stairs kind of come up, and this hallway sort of goes this way, and then goes this way, and then immediately around, and you sort of see uh, doors, like you would in a, in a hotel or a motel or something like that, just a series of doors uh, down the hall. Mm -hmm. And as you sort of run up and sort of check this area, uh, what would you like to do? I wanna, I wanna see if she can help me with this phone. Okay. What are you trying to do with it? Figure out how we can use it. <laughs> what is it? Okay. So you're sort of like <laughs> pointing. Unfortunately, like, no one can. Like, there's still like no sound. So you're literally like just like pointing this thing, um, <laughs> like just like at Abigail. Yeah. Uh, just sort of like gesturing with it, and she just sort of like gives you a look and like takes the phone. And just like just gives you like this like exasperated look like how do I use it? <laughs> Stop. And she just like whaps you on the head <laughs> with it, just like really kinda like lightly, <laughs> just like <laughs> what do we do? <sighs> and to her credit, she does like actually just start start to just see if she even like has signal and she's like and his head is just sort of like, while well, you're sort of like trying to make this like magic of technology like come alive and, and work for you. Um, uh, we're going to roll back to Alice who had just thrown uh, this cocktail. Okay, so Dorothy, Alice, Keaton, we're back to you. Okay, so is the, the monster still um, still gearing up to, to jump on me? Uh, it was, and then it got to distracted the back to Jake. <laughs> Um, as that bottle swung by, because he tried to yeah, like burn it with his yeah. with his Zippo. <laughs> okay, so it's back on on you. Okay, um, I want to uh, I want to see if I have an extra mace in my purse and, and mace it. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Uh, I think you have a mace in your purse. Yeah. Okay. So I pull it out and then I'm just like, yeah. Okay. Let's mace roll it. your. Let's roll your firearms handgun. But since it's a little easier to shoot than a gun, let's. Uh, do two rolls and take the better roll. Okay. So 33, and oh. it, mine is, um, it's 20. So oh. it's going to be a little bit harder. It's a 41. <sighs> Unlucky. Okay, so. Um, <laughs> Damn! Uh, My uh, you sort of like, <laughs> you sort of like, like, your hands are just shaking, and you, you reach into your purse to grab this can of mace you, you, you procure, but just in the moment, like, uh, this isn't something you necessarily expected you'd be having to do today. Uh, and it just sort of like slips out of your hand and sort of rolls across, uh, ah! rolls a few feet uh, across the street as we're back to uh, a, a quickly fading Jake. Oh, oh man. Oh. <laughs> rolled where across the street? Like further away from me or near me? Yeah, it's like it rolled like a couple feet uh, away from you. I look at it and I make eye contact yeah, with you. <laughs> I mean, it rolled away, it rolled away. This thing's on top of me. Oh, oh no. no. 
I try. <laughs> I do the most disgusting thing I could do. I try and spit in this thing's mouth. <laughs> Which is just vile. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so as I'm hoping it'll shock it. <laughs> so I'm like, what the <laughs> fuck? <laughs> well, you're not sane. So <laughs> That's true. I'm not sane. Would just I got no weapons. <laughs> spit in a, in a ghoul's mouth. Uh, so as this thing... Um, well, actually, actually, hold on. So wait, one sec. My Zippo lighter, is it the kind of lighter where I consistently have to use it? Or is it something where it's like... No, I it's just it. on now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm going to throw yeah. that in the fucker's mouth. <laughs> Oh, spit, on, yeah. spit, in it, spit in it and throw it in yeah. it its I'm mouth. I'm gonna spit it, try to shock him, and then when he's like, huh? <laughs> <Run in his mouth. laughs> okay, so the thing sort of like turns, it's getting refocused, uh, it focuses back to sort of like finish you off, and um, roll your throw for me. <laughs> do, do, do. Ooh, it's real bad! <laughs> oh, <laughs> Uh, do we have any rerolls? No. Oh, oh, the cards! <laughs> Please send help. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 18! <laughs> and my thing is 20! Yay! Oh, Yay! <laughs> Thank okay. you, Elder okay. Gods! Okay, 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 okay. Elder okay. Gods. <laughs> 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 So this like head just like cocks towards you as it like prepares to finally like finish its meal and you feel like just this saliva dropping down just this foul smelling liquid uh, oh. dropping against your face and in just this one like last act of defiance you just like shove this zippo like just into its mouth with like your last bit of strength and just force this like lit zippo into its throat and you just hear this thing like pulls back away from you and like staggers <laughs> backwards um, uh, onto its back, but its hands, its uh, arms and legs almost just like move backwards. It's just like full, you know, oh. uh, 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 ex exorcism. <laughs> yeah, just kind of cloverfield. And it's just like scatters backwards, just like screaming and choking. It's like this lit fire is just like burning uh, down its throat. Uh, but as it sort of backs away, uh, you as like, your vision is starting to black out and you're sort of starting to feel spotty from lots of blood and Keaton probably you have like followed this thing as well you still mm -hmm. see the second one uh, just sort of like looming and waiting for its chance um, fuck you Cujo and as it's about to take that can chance we, can we hear them screaming can we hear them or can no, we hear there's still, there's still nothing okay um, you see uh ah. Dust and rock sort of explode off of the brick uh, just next to this thing's head as uh, Two Coats takes a shot and misses. misses very close. But the thing sort of like looks directly at him and sort of assesses this threat level uh, and sort of refocuses oh away from the two of you onto Two, two Coats. Coats. And as that is as that is happening, um, the weird horse demon -y thing oh. just sort of very casually uh. makes its way around just like it's assessing the situation and just like watching the group and sort of seeing what they're doing Dorothy we're going to move back to you as you are what sort creep? of messing with this <laughs> phone what a creep. so we're in some sort of hotel situation mm -hmm. I think I want to look for like a mini bar because maybe there's a bottle opener or something I can have as a weapon Okay, uh, so you sort of move to the first door. It's an open door, and as you uh, step in, roll your spot hidden for me. We have four re-rolls. Thank you, Chad. Nice. 18. Yeah. Okay, I'm, yes. I'm good. Okay, you're good to go. Uh, so you, are at, you, you sort of start messing uh, around in this room, and you start to realize like there's a ton of just stuff. <laughs> uh, in this room, it just looks, uh, you know, it's, it's very messy. It's unkempt. Whoever was, like, living here left in a hurry. Uh, you see uh, the, the first thing that sort of draws your attention on the floor is you just straight up see a crowbar uh, mm -hmm. lying on the ground, just this metal uh, pry bar. I'll Dang. grab that. Okay, as you lean down uh, to grab it uh, and you stand back up, um, the room starts to light <coughs> up oh. um, as all around you this light just sort of starts to 
uh, engulf and fill the room, and then sort of in the center of it, almost if this, as if it has like a core and a source, this almost like human shape uh, is sort of like looming in the center of it. And in that moment, as this light sort of starts to fill your eyes and blind your eyes, suddenly you can hear again as this like just source of sound just like bursts through this light uh, <coughs> towards you. Ooh, and that's our cue, Amir. Oh. So as this like uh, this light light is sort of like expanding around you, this sort of sound starts to billow up. And just I can hear it. Mm-hmm. And what's the kind of sound? It's just a sound. I think we might have lost the uh, the sound cue. Um, so as this. Uh, this light is, you just sort of just hear this weird, almost it sounds like someone's like speaking uh, backwards almost as this like, uh, just like figure bathed in lights just sort of like steps toward you and you start, you almost uh, feel like hands like grabbing you uh, by the wrist uh, and you just sort of start to make out uh, just noises and words. Um, you hear, uh, you hear the word rabbit, uh, you hear uh, the word glass, uh, uh, as th- this, uh, you, you catch a phrase, sounds like, uh, uh, trust, uh, trust the bridge. Um, and you hear that a lot, just variations on this, like, trust the bridge, find, find the bridge. Um, and as, uh, uh, this grip sort of, like, lets go of, your wrists and pulls away the like this light sort of comes down as the light comes down uh, you guys can you can also hear again you start to realize like there's just the n- normal noise outside you hear like the commotion outside of, of what's going on you hear a gunshot uh, fire as two chains fires <laughs> on or two chains two chains I missed you nine two chains <laughs> 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 he made it he's alive as two coats fires at that second ghoul uh, but you sort of uh, find yourself uh, with this uh, with this pry bar in hand I'm ow <laughs> oh And as that happens, we are going to move back to uh, Keaton. Uh, you're now sort of staring at, uh, there's another one of these creatures uh, moving towards uh, two coats. Um, I want to take off one of my shoes and I want to run up and try to stab it with my heel. Like okay. I'm, yeah, I'm just going to. That's pretty hardcore. Yeah. Okay. <coughs> uh, go ahead and roll your, uh, your fighting brawl for me. Fighting brawl. Okay. Well, at least that's 25. <laughs> <laughs> Not 20. <laughs> I'm going to take a re-roll of the 76. Okay. My favorite number, but not quite. A very sexy number. Very sexy. 41. I'll take one more. Okay. Okay. Matt! <laughs> <laughs> nope. 85. Oh. I lose my balance. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so sorry, you, you sort of yeah. try to you very... <laughs> <laughs> Very valiantly, you sort of like run at this thing, like wielding the sort of like uh, spike you. end <laughs> of your shoe uh, to sort of like stab it uh, into this thing. And it just, it sees you and is just sort of able to like sidestep just a little bit as you sort of stumble <laughs> forward and catch your weight against the wall. You sort of feel this thing sort of like twisting and like looming uh, over top of you. Um, oh. Jake, will you please roll? Um, your go ahead and roll against your constitution for me. <laughs> okay, pretty good. I got pretty good little constitution there. Okay, awesome. My constitution is seventy, and I got a twenty. Okay, so you are just fighting through <laughs> not good. passing out from extreme loss of blood because again, there is a giant uh, bite wound <laughs> in your in your throat yeah. and your shoulder. Uh, and you were just losing, losing, losing blood, but somehow you're able to sort of like fight through it. Um, what would you like to try to do? Am I able to stand up? Yeah, go ahead and roll against your strength for me. Seventy. 
62. 62. My strength is 70. So okay, you sort of like pull yourself to a standing position. You feel woozy. Your head is like pounding. Um, you have sort of one hand pressed against your neck, and you just <coughs> feel this like pain, or maybe you don't feel the pain right now. I'll sort of let you play uh, uh, complete crazy right now, however you want. Um, so you you do pull yourself to a standing position. And I see that this creature's going towards Keaton. Yeah, it's sort of like she's just sort of like lunged for it, and now it's sort of like preparing to counter. I, I say only to myself. I'm Batman. <laughs> <laughs> and then at full volume, I, da -da 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 -da! Oh, I go running no! towards this thing. <laughs> What are you trying to just like body check it? Yeah, I'm gonna try me. To oh jump god. and crowd. Oh my god, this fucking thing. <laughs> okay, <laughs> so <laughs> Keaton, you realize the first thing you've heard like in like a good chunk of time is I'm Batman. Da -na 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 -na. <laughs> <laughs> um, Jake, will you please roll your uh, fighting brawl? But um, okay, it's pretty good. Oh, yeah, just go ahead and roll your fighting brawl as you rally. Uh, it's a 50, and I got a 24. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> I don't know how the hell you do this. Um, <laughs> so this thing is, like, about to just, like, lunge towards the back of uh, Keaton's head as you just, like, slam into it with, like, everything you've got <laughs> left. <laughs> and you're just, like, God. wailing into this creature, and it's actually, it's actually like... Um, Screaming and like a little freaked out <laughs> as you like just sort of beat this <laughs> thing. It'd be like um, if you're a bear and a squirrel jumps at you. The bear's like, kind of, yeah, kind of. It is kind of exactly that. <laughs> um, Alice. Okay, so I am inside the <laughs> motel, correct? Yeah, you've run and into the lobby. And two coats is still t still taking a stand to fight against these things. <laughs> yes, he's still outside. Okay, I want to see is there a fire extinguisher in the motel lobby? Uh, I'm going to check like behind the desk. <laughs> <laughs> sure, yeah. Uh, okay, so yeah, you check <laughs> behind the desk. Uh, you see uh, there's one of those little like small mm -hmm. fire extinguishers. Uh, there is a uh, little lockbox. There's just like a bunch of uh, it looks like a lady just like left snacks there. Okay, I'm gonna take a fire <laughs> extinguisher and I'm gonna run to stand like behind two coats to be a second line of defense. Okay, so you like run back outside. Yeah. Uh, with this fire extinguisher. Yeah. Okay. Um, and now I can hear and talk, right? Yes. All right, so I, I tell him, I'm, I'm like, they're not very coordinated. Uh, Don't. Two, two coats nods and agrees and just like points and it's just like get inside um, and he... okay uh, two coats just sort of takes like a running start and in between you just like wailing on this thing uh, tackles into it uh, the two of them tumble directly over <gasps> Keaton almost like a bully thing you know like you're sort of like crouched yeah. over top and they just like topple over the two of you. You just hear like two coaches yelling like, run! Okay, okay, I get up and start running. <laughs> <laughs> I'm fucking scared. <laughs> Whatever, dude. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> two coats, no! I'm Jake, what are you doing? I'm gonna, I'm, I'm realizing I'm more needed on the, on the inside. <laughs> okay. Uh, so Jake, uh, but I will take a moment to watch two coats. <laughs> I salute him. Um, oh. <laughs> So, Jake, Aww. you sort of start to move, and you sort of think you're running, but Jake is really, like, kind of, like, staggering. Maybe this is the first time you guys notice just, like, how much blood is just, like, pouring off of this guy. Like, mm -hmm. he's not in great shape. Uh, I want to go to help yeah. Jake. I listened to two coats. I'm going to get back inside, but I'm going to make sure that Jake gets inside. Okay, so you sort of, like, grab yeah. hold and sort of, like, help Jake uh, move a little bit. Mm -hmm. And you guys, uh, as you as you guys are moving inside... Uh, you hear uh, a second gunshot, and as you're sort of like <coughs> looking over as you move inside, Jake has pulled uh, his sidearm and just like put it uh, just against 
this 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 thing's side and it's just like emptying a clip two goats inside two goats this chains. thing. Yeah. Two, uh -huh. Oh, did I call him two chains Jake. again? Uh, oh, no, I call him Jake fine. again. We're Sorry. All just, listen, um, names are hard, you guys. <laughs> yeah, two coats is. Um, thank God you guys call him two coats because I can never remember that his name is James Kirkpatrick. <laughs> uh, is just like emptying a clip um, into this thing as you move inside. Um, is there like Dorothy a is? Well, you're still in that room upstairs, right. but Abigail is at the stairs at the top of the room, and it's just like up here. Come on, come on, go, 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 mm -hmm. go. Uh, is there a towel nearby or anything that we can tie around Jake's neck to prevent him from losing more blood? Uh, so you guys sort of make your way upstairs. Uh, go ahead and roll for me okay. your your first aid. 30%? That's not too bad. I mean, it could be worse. Yeah. Mine's like five, so. 69! 69, 69 <laughs> baby! <laughs> <laughs> Three times. <laughs> Ironically, oh, the yeah. only one with good first aid is Mona. Because <laughs> she learned it on the set of a show. Uh, 64. No, that's a... F oh, yeah, it is. Damn it. I'll take one more. <clears throat> Four! Four! Hey! Hey! Okay, wow. Uh, so you guys sort of, you sort of take a moment. Uh, uh, you're all now sort of in the room uh, where Dorothy had found the crowbar, the door shut. Um, and you sort of take a moment. You're looking around for just like s anything you can. You find T-shirts. You find just like articles of clothing. You're starting to tear away strips yeah, of things. Just sort of like hold um, against Jake's neck to sort of try to help ow, stop ow, the bleeding. Stop crying! Ow, stop! Ow. <laughs> Like tie it around just extra tight. <laughs> listen, listen. I don't know how those things work. If it's like vampires or zombies or something, but if I start turning into one of them, you're not gonna turn into one of them. Listen to me. What? Don't kill me. Those I thought you were gonna say kill you. What do you mean? Don't oh, kill you. It might be an interesting life. Uh, you're gonna kill one of us if you turn. <laughs> just go ahead. Try to close his eyes. Go to sleep. <laughs> Outside, you hear a Forget shot. Forget who I'm talking to. Outside, you hear a second <laughs> shot, and then a third. <laughs> and then you don't hear anything. He's probably fine. I'm going to kill you if you turn into one of them, just so you know. I hope he's okay. I don't know, though. Well, the thing is, he's from the future, so we could warn future him. Past him. It yeah. would be past him. Oh, yeah. <laughs> it's all confusing, man. Yeah. Why am I wearing and this? And anyway. So I take the Catwoman thing off and throw it. So you very <laughs> gingerly take the Catwoman thing off and throw it yeah. because you're dying. And anyway, uh. he... Anyway, he was from the the bad timeline. What timeline is this? The good one? <laughs> I'm pretty right. Yeah, this does not seem <laughs> rosy. Yeah, this is a bad righteous. one, too. We, that's why we have to go back. Are we in the warehouse? Where are we right now? We're, we didn't quite make it. God, God damn it, man. Maybe if you weren't busy throwing my drugs at people. Maybe that was a good idea. Or things, whatever they are. <clears throat> Do I hear them? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Sound is back. Sound is normal. Sound is restored. Okay, nice. Where'd you go, girly? I've been gripped by light. Okay, she's stoned as shit, man. No, 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 no. <laughs> There's been no snow going up my nostrils. I've heard words. Trust the bridge. Is there a bridge in this town? There's a lot of uh, bridges. It's LA. It it's the LA city. River area. Yeah. But, but a bridge between uh, this time and another time? Is there like an old bridge? I was in an in-between. Something grabbed me, but it wasn't a bad grab. It was... It was <laughs> <laughs> you don't want that. <laughs> no, it was, like, it was like an angel grabbing me, giving me a message. My favorite joke, grabbed by an angel. <laughs> <laughs> I don't... I don't know. The only time that we've been between times is in that hallway in the warehouse. Hallway? Bridge? Maybe they didn't want to just outright say it, so they said bridge. Yeah, they're being real cute. Maybe it. And as everyone's sort of trying to figure this thing out, Jake, you sort of uh, actually roll, roll against your constitution. <laughs> Here we go. <laughs> it's not too bad. No, it's not bad at all. Uh, 60, and I have a 70 constitution. Okay. So, so you are... Uh, 
you're sort of starting to go in and out a little bit, like long enough to just like hear uh, someone say they were touched by an angel and for you to sort of make a joke, and then you're sort of out again. And as you're sort of starting to black in and out, um, you see uh, this like light starting to flash, uh, this like green light, and it sort of overtakes you, and then there's just black, and then when you open your eyes again, sort of almost like mid-quip, uh, you find yourself alone huh? in uh, what looks to be a very nice, well-kept waiting room. Hello? Uh, there's no answer. You do notice, though, that your neck and shoulder are fine. Is there a door? Is there like a table with magazines on it? Anything that would imply more waiting roomy, kind of like? Um, there's no magazines on on anything. Everything in this room sort of seems very like serious, well put together. Um, chairs are comfortable, but not too comfortable, if that makes sense. Um, there are there are two doors in the waiting room. Uh, one is sort of a larger uh, double door, and then there's one off to the side next to a couch. I get up and put my ear against the couch door. Okay. As you sort of you walk up uh, to the door, uh, you put your ear against it. Uh, you don't really hear anything, uh, but you do notice that sitting on the cushion of the couch, uh, there is a Bible. Man, I died. <laughs> I'm gonna go to the Bible and open it up, see if there's any kind of like highlights or anything like <laughs> like a book, mm -hmm. book dog like a manual for the dead. Uh, it's actually it's actually uh, blank, Hand and book. as you're sort of flipping oh. through this like blank uh, book, you hear uh, the sound of something shutting from what seems like behind those two double doors. Hello? There's no response. Hold on to that Bible. I'm gonna go to those double doors. I'm gonna put my hand on it first. See if there's like any kind of heat or any kind of anything. Okay, yeah, there's no, no sort of like heat or anything. <laughs> <laughs> One's the door to heaven. <laughs> Uh, what are the is normal door handles? Kind of like weird pull, look like, like a weird. Just no, it's just uh, just just push, like a push situation. I'll give it a little push and a little peek. Okay, uh, you peek in, and uh, what you sort of see from the corner is just um, lines of chairs, maybe like three rows of chairs in a room that's painted and sort of carpeted in the same way as the waiting room. I'm going to push it open more, and I'm not going to go in yet. I'm just going to push it open. Okay. Uh, you open the door uh, and sort of see the full room. And it takes a moment, but you sort of start to realize that you remember this room. Uh, this is the funeral home where you had your grandfather's funeral. Uh, you are in oh, man. sort of the chapel area, for lack of a better word, of the funeral home. Uh, it is just like you remember it, Sands of the People. Uh, there is a closed casket uh, ahead at the end of the room. <sighs> All right. <laughs> I just go walking up to the coffin. Okay. As you start to walk up to it, you sort of see that, that green light again, uh, this time coming sort of from the creases of the casket, just sort of this light sort of faintly glowing in and out, spilling in and out. Oh God, if I open this thing and w Grandpa comes out or Beetlejuice, <laughs> I'm going to be so mad. <laughs> so yeah. I'm just going to put my hands on it at first to see if I'm feeling any kind of temperature or like, a, like an electrical buzz. No, it feels as, I mean, as normal <coughs> as uh, a casket would feel, I guess. Try to open a little bit and throw that Bible in there <laughs> just to see if it has any effect. Okay, you sort of like open this thing and <laughs> yeah, see if there's like fire or something happens. No, nothing happens. Like, 
fuck it. <laughs> I pry it open. Okay. You pry it open. Uh, as, <laughs> as it opens, the light is just gone, and you're just looking at this empty casket. And as you're sort empty. of taking a moment, and you're just sort of confused, and you're staring at this thing, uh, you hear a small voice in the room say, Jake? Huh? Hello? Jake, why did it take you so long? I mean, I don't know if it took me that long. I mean, I'm 35. Uh, uh, how long have you been waiting? Days. Oh, come on, that's not that long. And as you sort of like, sort of turn around to glance, sort of to talk to whatever this is, uh, you see uh, just how you remember him in the woods, your younger brother, Peter, just standing. <gasps> oh, that's not fair. Why'd you take so long to find me? Uh, listen, you can't you can't put that on me, man. I I went to therapy to go through all this. I already did all this. Okay, this is it's not my fault. You were a little kid. You went wandering off. That's a natural thing for little kids to do. Uh, and and you you know you were supposed to stick with me. You didn't. Uh, I'm not saying this is your fault. It's circumstances. It's 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 like having an aneurysm. It could just happen. You always have something to say for everything. You always have an excuse for everything. But you lost me. Fuck you, man. <laughs> and I just walk past him to go through the double doors. As you walk past I'm like, I'm not confronting this shit. As you open the doors, uh, he's just sort of like calling after you, just like, you lost me, you lost me. Yeah, 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 yeah. You yeah, lost yeah, me. Yeah, yeah, and as you start yeah, yeah, to open yeah, yeah. That, that green light, as you open the double doors, just like bathes over you as you feel, again, that familiar sort of recurrent, just those grabs against your ankles as just this grip tightens hey! uh, around your ankles. You, hey! Uh, you look down, you don't see anything, and as you look back up, uh, uh, Peter, his face just sort of like stretched and taunt is just like right there in front of your face, just like, you left me! Okay! So <laughs> I go walking towards Peter. And as we snap back. <laughs> oh my God. Uh, to the room, you sort of refocus on the room a little bit. Again, the, the pressure of the bandages back uh, on, uh -huh. you, on your body. Ah. Where is he? Who? Little kid, uh, Peter. Little kid. There's no little kid here. Where's my fucking brother? You, uh, you didn't have a brother here the whole time. What are you talking about? Hello? You're none delusional. You, none of you saw him? Uh-uh. No. You said you were bathed in light. Who'd you see? I, f I felt something, hands on me, telling me something. Little kid hands? Y yeah, r a rabbit, glass. What? Does that ring a bell? Were there rabbits? I mean, we were in the woods. I lost him in the woods. I lost him. We're not okay, in the I woods. Okay, I lost him. Go ahead and roll. Um... Alice, roll your spot hidden for me. Okay. Uh, do we have any rerolls? We have a few. Okay, I would like to use one. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Gosh darn it. I'm rolling again, but I need a different percentile dice because this one is not doing right by me. Oh my god! My spot hidden is so good. It's 60 and I keep rolling 80 something. Do we have any more rerolls? Uh, we have three. Uh, Do percentage dice doing you dirty. They really are. 98! Oh boy. All right, I'm trying <laughs> one more time. I'm switching my dice. <sighs> 62. Do we have any more rerolls? Have I burned them all at this You've point? Burned them all. Well, yeah! that's, <laughs> <laughs> that's nuts. It wasn't meant to be. No, oh. really. We have one. Sorry. All, All right. right. This is the one I feel it. Nope, 63 again. I know it's not meant to be. <laughs> not meant to be. 51. <laughs> that would succeed for me. <laughs> so as you guys are all... Um, 40. <laughs> Four. <laughs> 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 Sorry, I'm just having a good time. <laughs> I go. <laughs> just real quick. Just 
79. Okay, I feel better. <laughs> that, 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 side that side of the, of the table. Right. That side of the table's got a bagul half on it. <laughs> so Alice definitely doesn't notice it, but Keaton super notices it. Uh, uh, a light sort of uh, emanating from her purse. Do you guys, do you guys see this? I, I like lift my purse in front of me. It was like that. With me, it was like that. They, they see the light also. Mm -hmm. what, what the fuck does it mean? Go towards it. Yeah, get in your purse. Get in your purse. I get in my purse. <laughs> 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 I put my hand in to, because I, I feel like so reassured by they, that they've done it already. So I just You're dive like, in because I, I want this. answers. I want to know. Yeah, I want to yeah, know. Yeah, yeah. So you pull out um, again your weird little new agey crystals are just like sort of bathed in this like soft glow. I told you um, to throw that thing. What do you t no get? I like no. I, I like turn my back to him because I don't want him digging in my purse. Some some a weird dead brother. She said that it was a good kind of grabbing though. Good grab. Were you good grabbed? <laughs> no. Nope. So as um, <laughs> as you're saying, are you good grabbed? <laughs> uh, this glow sort of starts to get uh, uh, more intense and just sort of fills the room briefly and then just sort of like sucks <gasps> back into the crystals and they just sort of look dead and lifeless again. Um, Why did that happen? I, I don't know. A it's moment passes and you see that same light sort of fill the hallway uh, through the bottom of the door outside. I, I think it's, it's telling us to follow the light. Look, Alice, look. I see it. I just sort of in a daze. Oh my god, what is happening? Let's go towards it. F follow the light. Yeah, come on, Maybe. Ya come on, Yakuza, let's go. Ugh. She sort of like puts her blazer back on and buttons the button. Ugh, fine. She, sort of being closest to the door, Abigail sort of just opens the door and this light just sort of like pours into the room and then like pulls back. Uh, almost like moving down the hallway. Oh, we had to open the door for it. That's what we're doing. And it's like the light. You can still see it. It's just like almost like you can see like it's like moving backwards down the hall, like it's out of the room. Sort of like a, it, yeah. So it, it's not like we're in a room that's enveloped in light. It's like a, a light glow. Like a dancing light. Yeah, that mm -hmm. that we can sort of follow <laughs> the pathway of. Mm -hmm. okay. okay. I'm following it like in yep. a daze, just. And do, this is the same. It's a very familiar. It's, yeah. it's the same light. Yeah, I'm trying to see if it moves as we go closer to it, if it starts leading a path. So it's moved uh, a couple doors down in this hallway and has sort of come to a stop. And as you guys sort of get uh, closer to it, it starts to expand again and just sort of start to get brighter again for just a moment and then just flickers out suddenly. N no. No, no, no. How did it happen in the first it place? It let us hear. It let us hear. And there's that sort of, there's that moment of panic, and it almost like kicks in again uh, a, 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 sec a second time and starts starts to glow um, again. And you sort of uh, see this, uh, Dorothy, the same almost like human shape uh, in the center of this light. Um, and as it sort of starts to, to glow, um, uh, we have, uh, hang on, let me see if we can uh, get the audio to play again. Can we try to play that sound cue? Oh, we, oh, we won't. Oh. Oh, okay. That's super weird. Um, never mind, in that case. <laughs> um, remember a minute ago when I explained what the sound cue was to Dorothy? That again. <laughs> um, you sort of start to hear this just voice. Uh, you're sort of starting, it just sounds garbled, almost like this like message is, is like out of sorts. Um, and uh, uh, you again, you just hear like like this voice. Uh, you almost you're just picking up words like uh, uh, the 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 bridge uh, find find the, the white rabbit, um, the glass. You just hear like the word you pick up like the word glass. So you're again, you're all just like picking up these like smidgens. Mm -hmm. 
The light leaves, <laughs> and you're sort of left in this moment of quiet. You can hear each other breathing. Look, looking glass. That's looking glass. Through the just, looking glass. It's a mirror. Yeah, it, 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 White Rabbit. That's that's Alice in Wonderland. That's. Yeah. You ever, you know, you know what I'm talking about the, the Lewis Carroll those books. Mm, the Jabberwocky. Yes, Jabberwocky. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I read. Here. Another dimension. It was like no time passed at all. When she came back. That's right. I mean, Al Alice, like, hello? You can't put this on me. Yeah, this is your fault. <laughs> <laughs> is this your fault? Do you, okay, what's your brother's name? Steven. Okay, there's no, no. one in Lenny Lewis Carroll's yeah. show named Steven. No. What was the name of your show? Jake, will you roll a constitution it's check while you're talking? Minor inconvenience. <laughs> <laughs> Does Lewis Carroll have any historical minor inconvenience? <laughs> no. I think so. <laughs> Um, 14. 14. Dang. Okay, you're yeah. you're shake. I don't man. I don't know how you're uh, <laughs> how you're doing this, but you're I'm you're taking you're these pulling babies through. home for next week. <laughs> so maybe we're in some sort of mirror reality. And, and uh, what do you think those creatures are? You think what do they represent in the Lewis Carroll world? The Jabberwocky. The monsters. You think they're all the Jabberwockies? They're these nonsense there were other creatures. other monsters too. Well, you said there were doors, right? Doors. There were three across the street. Yes. Did any of them talk? I can't remember. Did any of them talk? We got to talk to Doors anyone? didn't talk. Doors don't okay. talk. Well, like, do it, Alice oh. in Wonderland! It's true. They there tell was you shit written on them. There was stuff written on them, so therefore you could say... There was an animal on one of the doors. It was a bird. Well, maybe there was a rabbit on another door. Or maybe the bird is the rabbit. Or the Eggman. <laughs> I still think we need to get back there. Let's go. Like, we really need to go. Please. Hey, okay. where's two coats? Oh, man. You, oh, boy. Uh, you know, he went home. He <laughs> found his way back home. <laughs> he was like, tell, tell, uh, tell uh, Dorothy, I love her. She's my best friend. He left. He went home. They just, what a guy. <laughs> <laughs> oh, she just eats it. Like, <laughs> just let her. <laughs> what a guy. God. Just, oh, let, just let her have that dessert, man. Just let her have it. We <laughs> fine, <laughs> fine. We need to get back, but That's how? a good sign for us. <laughs> how are we going to get around the monsters? Let's not go the way we came in, because we might find... Uh, uh, Ote. Otske outside. <laughs> you guys talk funny here. We lost a lot of blood. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Um. So we're... We went to like another door in the motel. Is that where we followed the light to? Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah, you're just upstairs. But we didn't actually open that door. Right. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. There was just like the light underneath it. I'm gonna just open the door. Okay. Just yeah. to make sure. Uh, you look around. You sort of see another room. There okay. doesn't look like there's anything like crazy or special going on. Okay. Did anybody catch the name of this hotel before we got in here? Because all the light in the Alice in Wonderland stuff started happening in here. No. No. I want. Can we look around and see if there's any cards or anything for the hotel? Oh, yeah, like a pad, a branded pad, mm -hmm. or a pen? Sure. Uh, everybody roll your spot, spot hidden. hidden. Oh, you know, the thing I'm good at, but <laughs> apparently I'm terrible at. Oh, no, 33. Now I succeeded. <sighs> I don't have a, I don't have a 65. good... 65. I don't have a good spot hidden. Mm. Let's see. Ooh, 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 real bad. <laughs> Oh, that's an 81. That's a yikers. <laughs> Do we have rerolls? She at least got it. So mm -hmm. well, you're no, gonna we don't. See it. I got it. We don't. No. I got it. She at least got it. So. Okay. Okay. Who succeeded? Who I did? did. <laughs> Alice did. Okay. So, uh, uh, looking around uh, for just a little bit. Uh, you do find, you go back sort of in the room where you guys were and you find mm -hmm. like one of those just crappy notepads mm -hmm. next to where the phone is and it just says, uh, it just says West Egg. West Egg. On the, on the, uh, on the pad. 
That's from Great Gatsby. Mm. Another book? Wait. Yeah, it's a book about your time. Yeah. Yeah, the green light. The green the light. The green light. That's a very literate gel. Now, the light you guys saw was like just like a burning white right, light. Right, but he saw a green light. Maybe. Did Did you see a green light? Yeah, in my vision with my, with my, my dead lost brother. There's a green light coming under the door. Right. We have to go back to that warehouse now. Oh. I'm tired of having to run away from these things. So, so I mean, I'll tell you guys something. I used to have a really big crush on my seventh grade English teacher. Great Gatsby was really something that stuck with me. Yeah, what does the green light represent? She had a really great body. I can't really tell you what the green light. I missed that. And listen, I'm, I just. She had legs for days. I'm going to walk back downstairs and go back out the front door. OK. Uh, I just want to go back to that warehouse I, now. I feel like, yeah, now that we figured this out, I think I'm, I'm with Alice on the, like, just the determination to fuck the monsters, just get to the, to the. Um, Shapely. OK, <laughs> Abigail just sort of sighs as you guys walk Shapely. downstairs. Uh, <laughs> Almost like it's a nervous habit. You guys know she like takes this red blazer on and off a lot, yeah. so she takes it off again, folds it over her arm. I'm taking my fire extinguisher. Tattoo, also. Tattoos are all out. You've got your fire extinguisher. <laughs> you have your crowbar. What are, the, what are the tattoos? Is there anything like distinguishable? I don't know. Any maybe. literary characters? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Do I see uh, like like two little uh, two little a white rabbit? red ferns or something? <laughs> <laughs> that was a really good guess, Jay. Uh, there is a uh, there's a white rabbit on Abigail Stein's right shoulder, uh, with just uh, you sort of the reason you notice it is that the, like this the strap of the tank top is sort of what draws your eye to it, and it, it almost like bisects the uh, the the okay. rabbit tattoo. Hey, what's up? That uh, where'd you get that? The rabbit tattoo. The rab uh God. Um twenty fifteen, my divorce finalized. I got the rabbit and then I have the Hatter's well, we're not exactly friends. The Hatter's hat is um elsewhere. Sweet. <laughs> Why? Why is it elsewhere? Why'd you get the tattoo? Oh, <laughs> And she just sort of like gestures with her arms, and it's just like because I, I don't know why do you why do you cosplay like you're from the twenties? I like tattoos. I don't know what cosplay is. Oh my god! I am who I am. The voice. I'm starting to come around, and I think I like you least <laughs> now out of this weird group. Well, you're wishy washy. I don't trust you anymore. It said. Ugh. To follow the white rabbit and, and trust the bridge, so... Where do you want to go? Well, I wanted to go to Union Station, but we're a little past that. Isn't that a so train? Let's I, mean, my I don't know that any would be running, but... A bridge? We're close to this warehouse now. I mean, my truck is outside. It, did, it was drivable. I only backed it up into a monster. We got this close to this warehouse. Let's at least go see these doors. If anything else, we calm her down. I just need to know. Okay. You should yeah. probably go first, though. I should go first. Well, because that white. way we're going to follow you. <sighs> You know what? Fine, fine. There's voices in the air and lights, and I don't know how you're still standing. Uh, That's some stamina. I whispered to Jake. Yeah, she yeah. has a red coat. Okay. So Abigail sort of like pushes past the two of you, sort of moving down the stairs and heads to the front <coughs> door and kind of looks back up and is like, Coming, you're my armed guards. I follow right after her with my fire extinguisher. Okay. I follow after her, almost wanting to hit her, but I don't. Where do you think that that adder tattoo is? <laughs> I think it's on her ass. <laughs> so we're gonna have to listen to see if that voice says, "Grab the hat or anything." Well, I think <laughs> it just represents her oh her her ex husband, probably. Maybe he was a little crazy, and so he's an ass, so she put the hat on her ass. Or maybe he was an ass man. 
Oh, well, maybe. We're gonna hopefully see if that spooky voice tells us to pay attention to the hat. If he tells us to look for the ass, yeah. <laughs> Are you done? What are you to do? Well, oh, <laughs> we're coming. Sorry. Yeah, sorry. <laughs> okay. Uh, as you guys... Uh, uh, Me and uh, Laura Dern from Jurassic Park over here. Okay. Abigail steps out uh, into the street, sort of pauses, freezes, like looks around for a minute. And she almost does it carelessly and then kind of freezes, realizing that she's just done a very stupid thing. And after a moment of, like, looking around, um, kind of gestures for you to follow. I'm following after her, holding my fire extinguisher out, ready to... Okay. And we're going out the front the way we came in? Yes. Where's two coats? So uh, as the group sort of uh, comes out, uh, you see a couple of things. You see the ghoul that you had tricked into running into a, uh, into a wall. It's dead on the ground. Um, you see... Uh, uh, a second also uh, lying on the ground near the wall where you guys had sort of been like hugging it uh, in the middle of the street uh, you see two coats lying on the ground I run over to him to okay. see if he's two uh, coats there's no response I won't try to make you roll like a first date he's, he's gone do I see him yes oh, I run no. over to him Okay. Two coats? Buddy? He is very dead. Uh, his rifle's still in his hands. You lied to me. I didn't lie to you. I, I, and I'm just taking the rifle out of his hands. <laughs> just like, I swear, I didn't, I didn't lie. I did. If he's, if he's gone... He was from a different time. Am I next? He was from the future, though. And you're from the past. So we're trying to get you back to your time and stop his time from ever happening. So that he will stays alive. So you're not going to die. We're going to get you back. So he's only dead here. He's only dead here, and yeah. this place is, a lot of people are dead, and if we can fix like, things. Like two chains. <laughs> this is giving me That's a migraine. I start crying, I'm just like, this is, oh. he was so nice oh. to me. <laughs> well, I'm, I'm leading the way. Give, give I'm the, following. Give her the gun, it's symbolic, give her the gun. I'm sorry, I don't mean no. to, to, to act, to come off as cold. No. He's, he saved <laughs> our lives. <laughs> I'm he did. I'm going to see if two, co two Coats has, like, his little uh, <coughs> revolver. Uh, you sort of look for it. You glance up. Uh, you see it uh, over towards the other uh, ghoul, sort of, like, lying on the ground. I'll walk over and try and grab it. I okay. also, also pick up my mace that rolled away earlier. Okay. I cool, give cool, him cool. a little kiss. Oh. Aww. Aww. I'm not giving her the gun. Poor weird fine, man. Fine, fine. I got the <laughs> other gun. I give her the gun. Oh. He'd want you to have it. Is it a rifle? No, no this, is a, this is just like a 9 millimeter like handgun. So you recognize handgun. It's just like a <laughs> weird, very weird looking gun to you. So this distracts me for a bit. Yeah. I'm not as sad anymore about two coats. Okay. <laughs> as you're sort of like examining this weird <laughs> thing, uh, Abigail is sort of just like trying to lead the way into this warehouse. I'm following after Abigail. I'm behind her. <clears throat> I need a reminder. <laughs> take some of two coats hair? <laughs> what do you mean? <laughs> I just need a reminder that we're moving because I'm very focused on the coat. Oh, okay. So you guys sort of walk <laughs> off and Dorothy's just sort of still standing there next to two coats. You have to remind her. Uh, uh, Dor Dorothy? Whoa, coming. Okay. They got me. <laughs> <laughs> and as you sort of like follow it's along and bring weird. up the rear, um, <clears throat> uh, Abigail approaches uh, the warehouse door the, the front entrance and just kind of looks back at you guys and just like we went in through the front the first time okay. to get to the hallway great with a the little, multiple doors great it was a little man but here's the thing everyone else said they didn't see the little man so they didn't go into that room with the multiple doors we saw the no. little man I don't see a little man well I'm, I'm more of a lawyer yeah hey little dude <laughs> I don't you? think he's here 
Uh, she just sort of like opens the door and steps inside. Listen, there's five. There were five the first time. Yeah, poor Max. Rip. And, and uh, Mona, who we knew so much about. Maybe, maybe it'll work even without the little man. Is he a little man or a normal sized boy? Ooh, I mean, he was an adult man. <laughs> <laughs> <but> <laughs> as He's... far as I go, I suppose it was what you referred to as boy like. <laughs> do they not have little? I'm they have trying. little people in the 20s. They do. They just, yeah. Come on. Don't have as much medicine and stuff. Let's. What? <laughs> For their systems. Like, oh. you know, yeah. So they don't live as long. I never met him. So it's hard to say. Apparently, no one did but us. We have to try. We, we came all the way back here. Let's go. Okay. I'm going to go inside. Okay, so Alice sort of follows uh, Abigail uh, inside. And does everybody sort of yep. head on in? Yeah. Okay. Uh, so you walk in. Uh, the first thing you see is the same downed... Um, Whatever these like weird meteory pod things, the one that had like slammed in when you guys mm -hmm. went down the steps from the party initially, that's still there. Uh, there's no real signs of life. There's no signs of movement, and you do see still standing the three doors. Oh, nice. All right. Okay, so we already went to the one on the left, and the one that was straight ahead. So we need to go to the right. Okay. What if we went to the one on the left, though, and just stayed at that 1920s party? I think it was earlier than that. Oh, yeah. I'm just going to follow her. I don't know. Oh, I don't care where we time travel to. I don't really have a preference. I want to see what's on the side of the other door. I want to go home. Okay. Go to the right. I want to oh. walk up to the door that's on the right. <coughs> okay. And... It's it was the the circle with the hand, the thing right the line it was mm -hmm. like a circle and a line mm -hmm. okay I'm gonna open the door okay <gasps> uh, as you open the door this uh, this sort of not a, like a blast but this uh, cold chill sort of fills uh, the room mm -hmm. as this like sort of shock of cold air uh, hits all of you uh, especially <laughs> especially for L.A. folks and well a Southern California girl yourself um, <laughs> it's much colder blast than you're used to. Abigail sort of like holding the door open. It's always a good sign, you know, when you're gonna go into a spooky room, they get hit with cold air. Oh. I mean, let's just keep going. It's the worst that can happen, huh? Maybe <laughs> this party will have a coat check and we can steal someone's coat. Ste oh. Two coats. Oh, <laughs> too soon, Alice. Come on. We should have taken, taken his two coats. So as you guys sort of enter oh, we should have taken the his hallway. Two <laughs> yes. We should have taken his coat. Uh, so everyone sort of mm -hmm. like walked into the hallway. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, you sort of step in. It's the same setup as, uh, as last time. There's this weird uh, just sort of like crappy haunted house mm -hmm. type hallway. You know, <laughs> like the black cloths and stuff like that hang hiding on either side. Um, it's a funny question. What's the worst that could happen? God damn it. Good, good. Uh, just, uh, we're already living in hell with monsters. Oh no. <laughs> As Abigail sort of still standing at the entrance of the door. Oh no. Uh oh. Sort of puts her red blazer back on, buttoning it up, and that's when you hear just this heavy footfall, just sort of these heavy feet and claws hitting the ground. Are they horse -like? As you look behind you, and this woman, Abigail, is standing, sort of holding the door, and this, that creature, the weird horse thing with the bug eyes, its head just sort of like careens uh, over and like looks at you guys and she just places a hand on uh. it very tenderly <gasps> and smiles and says 
Well, what do you The do? hounds are interesting creatures. Um, I, from what I understand, they're called Tindalos hounds. I don't know what that word means. I don't know if it's a made-up word or a place or a every creator. Word's, every word's made up. That's how well we said, Jake. Every word's made up. That said, you found your warehouse and you found your door. And so I'll ask again for you. What's the worst that could happen? As she just closes the door shut. What's that Union Station? And as it clicks, you guys are just click shut. You guys are just bathed in darkness. This cold chill sort of still working its way through from the other end of the hallway. So she closed us in the hallway? Yes. She's not she in? Went, she went back <coughs> through She's on the, the other side. On the other <gasps> side of the door. Oh, yes. okay. So there's still somewhere to go in this hallway? Yes. Yeah. Okay. I'm going to walk towards the other end of the hallway. I'm cowering a little behind Alice. I'm just like... Okay. But I do have the rifle, so I have it ready. I think that voice might have been lying to us. Why would it tell us to follow the white rabbit? The voice could have been evil. Maybe she was possessed. Maybe she was taken by the... the I don't know. Demon. I don't know. I don't know. But maybe we didn't know we were in different times until we got to the other side of the doors at the end of the hallway. So I don't think there's anywhere for us to go but forward. As you guys are walking and moving forward... Um, Alice, roll a dexterity check. Okay. Uh, that's a four. Okay, that is a very good, good success. Um, you're the first to notice, Alice. The 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 ground below you has sort of changed. It's almost uh, very slick, as if it's <sighs> wet and slippery, and it almost catches your feet, and you almost <gasps> sort of slide forward, but you're able to catch yourself sort of quickly. Um, Everyone's eyes are sort of starting to adjust a little bit. You can sort of see uh, the person in front of you, really. You're having a hard time really making out your surroundings or anything like that. Uh, as you reach out and catch yourself against the wall, uh, Dorothy, you sort of see Alice slip up a little bit, and you sort of stop almost on instinct, as does Keaton, as does Jake. Uh, Alice, as you sort of um, uh, catch yourself against the wall, you realize those two are very like cold and slick mm. and rocky. Be careful. Like almost a smooth stone. <coughs> the ground, it's its like walking on ice or something. Oh, like man. glass? It feels glass. a little bit like almost like a smoothed over glass. <gasps> yeah. I mean, it is definitely, it looks like stone, but it feels very smooth, like uh, running your hand across like a mirror, like a glass bowl or something like that. Like glass. What's ahead of us? Oh, yeah. It's a looking glass. Um, as you sort of are, you can sort of continuing to move mm -hmm. forward. Mm -hmm. Um, it's it's darkness for what seems like a good long while as you're making your way forward, and finally you sort of start to see it. Uh, this like orange glow sort of ahead of you, almost like there's a light, um, for lack of a less sunnier phrase, at the end of the tunnel. Mm -hmm. um, you sort of see this like orange light uh, ahead. Not like the light that you saw in the hotel, not like the green light, more like s there's lights on uh, at the end of whatever this hallway is. I'm gonna keep making my way towards the light. <laughs> okay. Um, as you make your way forward, uh, this corridor, this cavern that you're in sort of like twists left, twists right, you sort of feel realize you're sort of walking um, down a little bit, uh, just sort of very like slightly um, as you sort of approach this orange light and as you turn this <laughs> corner, uh, you find the source of it. There is um, uh, uh, a person, a woman, uh, holding a lantern who does not look surprised or anything. She just sort of stands and as you sort of come around the corner, is just watching you. Hello? Hello. 
where where exactly are we? <laughs> That's a good question. I would say you're right where you're supposed to be. <coughs> and you're all here? How long you been here? Who's your name? There there was another, but I, I don't know if she was never real or if we lost the real one. That's fine. It's been uh it's been a strange couple of days, hasn't it? Couple of days? Couple of days. Couple of hundred years. <laughs> I think your math might be a little bit off. It's easy to lose track down here, I understand. At any rate, you're here, that's the important thing, and there's places for all of you. What? Follow me. As this woman sort of turns, she just continues down this caravan and she, uh, as she sort of carries this lantern ahead. Uh, as she's moving ahead, you can start to see the actual uh, uh, room, this like light, almost brown, smooth surface um, with these smooth, like almost like conic uh, uh, rocks that almost just look like crystals sort of like jutting down from the ceiling uh, and with mates sort of lifting up from the floor uh, to meet them almost like icicles just thousands of them they uh, they reflect off the lantern and dance actually looks quite beautiful how did you get down here it's my job to be down here I'm here to collect stragglers those look like your crystals no What, what, where did those crystals come from? She stops and kind of looks back and... You mean the cavern? Well, I, mean, they, I pull out my thing my from my purse and I compare them. They look like similar, but not necessarily like uh, they were, okay. you know, broken off of the ceiling okay. or anything like that. No, I just put it back in and just like... Okay. You do sort of, uh, as you sort of grab that crystal, sort of get that brief sort of moment, almost like hearing your your uh, your father's again, sort of like speaking. Um, and it sort of fades as you put the crystals back in your purse. At any rate, it's my job to be down here. I collect stragglers, like I said. Have you collected a lot of stragglers? It's been busy. Oh, it has man. been very, very busy. Where do they go? They go where I'm taking you. I'm taking you to see, I guess, for the lack of a better word, the manager of this establishment. Okay. All right. Mr. Thigson is always excited to meet a new face. Come with me. And as she descends further into the cavern, and the four of you follow behind her, that is where we will end tonight's Ooh. episode of He Left It Dead. <laughs> Mr. Dixon. Mr. Dixon. No. <laughs> uh, no. Oh, Mr. Uh, Mr. Thixon, not Mr. Dixon. Thixon. Oh, oh. Thixton. Thixton? Um, no, that's really bad, you guys. Oh, no, I don't know. <laughs> that's our show. Thank you guys oh, so, no. so much for watching. Thank the four of you so much for playing. <laughs> Thank you, sir, back there on the ones and twos. Yay! Thank you very much uh, for killing that. And also, sorry, sorry if I was a dick about that sound cue. <laughs> I was like, that's important. We have to hear it. No, we heard it um, the second time. We heard it the okay, second yeah, time. Yeah, we heard it yeah. the second time. Everything's fine. Thank you guys so, so much. Uh, uh, for donating, let me let me read through these donations real quick. Again, thank you guys so much for watching, hanging out, participating. Soup a lot two hashtag rerolls. They needed Woo. them. Thank you so much, Nagahama. Let's add in some more hashtag rerolls. Yep, they needed them. Starting a, a, a Mel Palmeno, starting a hashtag phobia of fire for Jake. Um, <laughs> Bradley <laughs> Burnett. Uh, hashtag reroll. You will probably never need these, but what the heck? You were right, Bradley. They absolutely we did, did not like oh them. I Emma used them. so many rerolls Throughout tonight. That I night. am Matt now, you guys. Uh, She's the new Matt. Keen four Love five you, six. Uh, more towards. Oh, we haven't done this phobia yet. Um, we're gonna <laughs> we're gonna start the show. I couldn't find a good place to fit it in. Uh, Keaton, you have a new phobia next week. Oh and, yeah! Uh, <laughs> yeah. Keen four five six jumped into it. Um, uh, 
uh, Bradley Burnett. Uh, hashtag phobia for Jake to finish the fire phobia. Uh, Stump, a moment to sit and relax. Uh, hashtag sanity for each of the players. Sounding like you all need it. We got through a few of them. We have a few more we still need to get through. Yeah. Uh, Jake, you've got one, but uh, it was going to kind of cancel out on a day that you're just crazy. Mm -hmm. uh, so we'll start that next week. Awesome. Uh, Bradley Burnett, hashtag phobia for Keaton. Finishing your phobia that we're going to jump into oh next my week. God. I'm very <laughs> excited about it. It's ridiculous. Uh, Doomsday Danny, not all evils are seen or heard. Hashtag evil of silence. Hey. Total and utter silence. Not a creak, not a breeze, no footsteps, not even a whisper. Dang. Damn, that became a pain the for you guys. Was, yeah, yeah, the silence was, was pretty rough. cool. That was yeah, cool. That was fun. That was really um, cool. Especially just in a game that requires you guys to be able to talk to each other. Yeah. Uh, soup a lot. Hashtag sanity for Jake. Uh, that, again, we will also use next week. Negehama, uh, everyone could use a hashtag reroll, especially Alice tonight. Duke Devil 95 hashtag reroll. Thank you so much. Uh, gave us quite a few, actually. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, Duke Devil. Uh, not Matt. Come on, guys. You're not Matt. I'm just, I know. Hashtag reroll. Uh, Negehama, y'all eating rerolls like candy tonight. Hashtag <laughs> reroll. Uh, and Jay Pistol. Uh, did pistol. someone just ask what's the worst thing that could happen? Oh, God. Hashtag reroll. Um, <laughs> Thank you guys thank you, so Yay, much for coming you. in hard on those, especially when they needed them. Dude. Uh, I think you guys are why Jake is alive. Yes. Uh, <laughs> albeit barely. Uh, oh. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he survives. He's bleeding, and uh, it's probably infected, but he's alive. Uh -huh. yeah. uh, the Catwoman outfit ended up working. If you think of Batman Returns, still alive. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> True. <laughs> I, we just watched it again yesterday, the too. nine lives <laughs> like, of Jake yeah, Nash. I'm obsessed with it. Uh, uh, let us know what <laughs> references you picked up on, including all the Michael Keaton ones. <laughs> yeah. That's our show. Uh, again, Maddie, Emma, Janelle, Cameron, thank you guys so, so yeah. much for playing. Uh, we'll see you guys right here at 7 o'clock next week for episode four. There's two more of these suckers. Let's see how weird this gets. See you guys Ooh. next week. Bye. Bye. Bye.